I'll shut up, please. Welcome to North Stars Live. I'm your host Lucy Vaughan. And I'm Tori Diver. Newcastle North Stars, we're here to bring you the utmost up up-to-date Newcastle North Stars news, analysis and interviews around game day. We're just moments away from the puck dropping on the North Stars 8th game of the seat 2009 Australian Ice Hockey League season against the Melbourne Mustangs. The North Stars faced the Adelaide Adrenaline in Adelaide last weekend and came away with two wins and then a 4-1 win last night against the Melbourne Ice. Let's see whether the team can continue their winning streak against the Mustangs. What did you think of the game yesterday, Tori? Yeah, it was really exciting. I think the first period uh, we didn't have any goals um, and I was kind of, oh, this is a bit different. Um, but yeah, second period we came out and I think there was uh, yeah three goals for the North Stars and one goal for Melbourne Ice. So yeah, yeah that was very exciting. Um, I think Sammy Banger scored two in the second period and we had um, Andre Smuck. Um, score another one so yeah. yeah and then obviously third period we got another one uh, Melbourne Ice stayed just with the one goal um, and Sammy Banger got his hat trick um, in the third so yeah that very exciting good. I remember Andre's goal in the second and Banger just knocked it in but it was a beautiful shot <laughs> it was the best like wrist shot off the blue line ever it was great <laughs> and I think that's probably why we had a, we had a bit of commentary um, in the production team to say who actually scored that goal um, yeah. But yeah they, they did call it as Banger so yeah yeah, that was really interesting. Yeah. So, what do you think of our lineup today? We got a couple of guards. We got one player out. Do you think that'll affect anything? Oh, look. I think I think goodbye. Um, obviously, he he did get injured last night. Um, I think that yeah, you know, it's going to change our team a little bit. He um, he was a huge goal scorer last uh, last weekend. I think. Um, yeah, he scored seven goals last weekend, so that's yeah. pretty pretty big over yeah. the whole weekend. Um, so yeah, missing him might yeah. might be change the dynamics a bit. Yeah, so and especially when you have one import out, it makes it makes it tricky sometimes. Definitely. But definitely. I think overall the team played really well, even he wasn't there in the second and third yes. period. I I noticed an absence, but I didn't necessarily notice that it was goodbye. Like yeah. It's just the, the lines are a bit different, but I didn't really think anything of it. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, you know, the other the other guys stepped up and, and kept going. So, yeah, yeah I, I don't think I noticed it as much. Um, and I actually didn't even know he was injured until about halfway through the second period. So, yeah, um, yeah I think um, definitely, uh, you know, they obviously have worked today on their game plan to for him missing. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Well, we hope you feel better soon, Dom. We're going to start off by talking to JFK. We spoke to him on Thursday night and see what he thinks about the team's season so far. Hi, Lucy Vaughan here with the Newcastle North Stars. I'm here with our head coach, John Kennedy. We've been having a really successful start to the season. What do you think the key is to moving forward from here and keeping to win? Uh, taking it one weekend at a time. Uh, that's what we've been doing, one period at a time and just focusing on what makes us successful. I mean, um, we've played Adelaide for the past three games, so we kind of knew the scouting report on them, but um, we have Melbourne Ice again, and we'll play the Mustangs for the first time. But uh, it's just focusing on our game, coming into practice, energized, positive, just having fun. 
What have you seen, what strengths have you seen out on the ice with the team in the last couple of games? Uh, look, it's no secret in the league that uh, we're a fast team and our speed has definitely been um, our weapon. Um, things that I would like to see us improve is pro probably our defensive zone, but uh, definitely our speed and uh, execution in the neutral zone. So has speed a big focus for you coming into the season? Because I know you did a lot of pre-season training and fitness was a big aspect of it. So did you predict that this year needs to be faster? Oh, look, it's ice hockey. It's, it's meant to be played fast. So uh, that's the type of game that we want to play. So I encourage our forwards to, you know, push themselves in that direction and, and our team defensively as well. So, uh, like I said, I, I believe hockey is meant to be fast. So that's how we're going to play. So you're moving from player to coach this year. How have you found it? Oh, look, it's been a growing and a, like a big learning curve for me. Um, obviously, from day one, I've learned so much in such a small amount of time, and I'm still learning things every day. But as you uh, get farther into the season, you get more comfortable. You get to know the guys. Uh, you don't feel the stress and pressure so much. And you know, kudos to the boys in the locker room. They've made my job a lot easier. I mean, it could be completely the other way around at the beginning of the season, and things would be way more hectic. I would be questioning everything that I do, but I think we've really found uh, our step in this and, you know, it kind of helps, so. So being a coach on the bench, what do you think the funniest thing is that you've heard this season from the boys? The funniest thing I've heard is probably came from my mouth, but uh, to be honest, like, I'm, I've, been on the, uh, like, I've been on the bench before, so you hear the same things, you see the same things. Obviously, you would like to hop out there sometimes when you see, you know, a guy take a dirty shot at one of your players, but, um, Look, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you what the funniest, the funniest thing probably would come from Andre because uh, <laughs> his English is so broken at the moment. He just comes up with funny things. So, yeah. All right. It's been great to chat to you. We're looking forward to this weekend's games against Melbourne and we'll see you then. All right. Thank you, Lucy. It was great talking to John last week. I feel like I'm crossing from myself to myself, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, he covered a few things about fitness. I think that was really like critical to last night's game and some of the games that we've seen previously. Yeah. Because we're bringing, we're running three lines, and they've all they're all bringing everything they've got. Yeah. Every time they're on the ice, I think it makes a big difference that the league is just getting faster every year. Yeah, and the quality of imports coming out, I think, is getting better and better. Yeah, definitely. So who do you think really stood out last game for the North Stars? Uh, well, I think you can't go past Sammy Banger. Yeah. With his hat trick. Um, yeah, he, he did really well last night. Um, also, um, Andre, Andre Smoke, he actually, he scored one goal and I think he assisted in two of the others. Yeah, it's yeah, sad so that this is his last home game for Andre Smart. Yes. He, um, I feel like he's really just coming into his own now and he's, we just start to see him step up and really get those breakaways and the goals, but that's all right, he has other places to play. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stay here forever. Yeah. Um, so I think Dane looked really awesome last night. Some yeah. saves that were pretty, were pretty outstanding, and he just seemed so on his game. Yeah. Every every shot, he was so lined yeah. up. Did you notice that? Yeah, definitely. Um, Dane faced twenty nine shots, so yeah. to twenty eight, obviously. Yeah. Um, and I think you know the shots compared to uh, Melbourne Ice, they were on par. There was thirty two shots on goal for there. So yeah. you know it was it was quite on par. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dane, you know, really stood up and. Yeah. and save quite a good one. And I would say that there are a lot of um, a lot of rebounds in that mix as well for both teams. Yes. Like there was a lot of, I noticed the ice were pretty dominant, like trying to hold the slot in our zone, but so were the North Stars in the ice zone. But I would be surprised if they even, like how many shots were from like the high slot and were really like good shots. Mm. So I feel like there were a few blinders, but a lot were just like, you have to be in all these spots at once, which is, yeah. which is tough. Yeah, I remember one down down the other end when Dane was, um, you know, all over the ground and getting back up. And, yeah, you know, and it makes you nervous because all of a sudden they're back with their face in the back of the goals, and you're like, you definitely can't see it there. Yeah, yeah. They've just got this ability to know where it is all the time. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Alrighty, so on Thursday night we spoke to Bert at training about how his season's going and his new milestone. So we'll play that now for you. Hi, Lucy Bourne here for the Newcastle North Stars. I'm here with our captain, Bert Malloy, who recently scored his 200th point in the AIHL. How great was that? Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It didn't mean too much. Um, I don't know. It, we got to win, so that was really good. So if you had to think back to what your, to your favourite goal that you've scored in the AIHL, what do you think it would be? Uh, maybe the first one. That was pretty cool. Um, or my first year here, semi-final against Canberra. Uh, just 
a garbage goal like usual and uh, yeah, a couple to remember. Who would have influenced you when you started playing for the North Stars, do you think? What players? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I think I've kept my own kind of style from my ice dog days too. Um, I don't know. Brian Leach, I always grew up watching Brian Leach as an offensive defenseman um, with maybe a little Scott Stevens, right? So. You just like to do your own thing. Yeah, I think so. I think so. What do you think has made you really successful as a player and a leader in the AIHL? Um, hopefully consistency. Like, you know what you're going to get, I hope. Um, and I, through a leadership role, um, I enjoy working with guys and I hope they look up to me as well. So you just try and be a good influence on and off the ice. Thanks for your time, Bert. We've have, been having a great run this year. Hopefully some more wins on the weekend. Yeah, so far so good. Let's go. It was great talking to Bert on Thursday night. He's tough to get an answer out of sometimes, but he's definitely a key player for us and he's a really strong leader. I would be, I think we'd be really struggling without him, even though we have a lot of senior players who do step up for our team. Bert definitely leads the pack there. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's definitely a real leader um, in the locker room and something I've noticed this season and obviously the last two seasons we haven't done very well, um, haven't made the finals. Um, and Bert takes that on himself. You yeah, know, he, he's, he's so very, tough on himself. He is. Um, but what I've noticed this season is after every home game, when the guys have you know done the stick tap and thank the fans, yeah, he goes around to every single glass panel and puts his stick along and thanks everyone. Yeah, he definitely so, thinks that it's a big community effort as much as it's up to the boys when they're on the ice. There's a lot of other people that enable them to play hockey, and I think he's pretty grateful for that. Yeah, it would be tough without this kind of fan base. You just you wouldn't get to do it. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, how's Mustangs been going this season? Well, Mustangs uh, played in Sydney last night yeah. versus the Bears. Uh, unfortunately, it was a close game. Uh, they went down 5-4. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, not the result that they, they would have wanted. Um, so, you know, I'd say they're up here looking for, for a win tonight. Um, this is the first time we've played uh, Mustangs this year. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they're going. Um, they are third on the, uh, on the ladder at the moment. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, not too far, far behind us. Um, they've had three wins. Um, yeah. and two uh, overtime losses so yeah that's I think pretty close though they've been playing pretty good and it's tough for teams to adjust to new overtime rules as well I would think yes having the three on three is like a whole new game for them yeah it really it makes everyone step up and there's so much open space on the ice it's hard to mark and it's really hard to mm. keep that possession if you lose possession you're you essentially like you can very easily give up that overtime goal yeah and I think um, so last year, um, the North Stars won um, all four games against the, against the Mustangs. Uh, we had the three in regulation and one um, shootout win. So um, I think, you know, head to head last year, um, North Stars got, got the win over though. But um, yeah, this year, they, you know, completely different team. Um, and different team for us as well. Yeah, definitely. And I think with um, the imports, like Melbourne Mustangs have only just got their third import in this week on yeah. Thursday. Um, that's Jordan Owens and um, you know the caliber of player that he is um, doing you know some reading on him and he's been in the AHL um, in the United States for you know, five years he yeah, wow. was you know playing with teams like New York Rangers and the Detroit uh, Red Wings so you know massive massive player for them yeah um, and I guess that shows you know what the kind of players imports that we're bringing over it'll be interesting in tonight because this will be his second proper game in the yeah. league and it always takes probably a little, got jet lag. Yeah, it always takes a little while to settle in but sometimes not that long. They're pretty dangerous from the get go. So Yeah, definitely. I wonder if we'll see that tonight. Yeah. And I think um yeah, like we had the um you know everyone knows about um, Travis Fullerton that didn't come over um, at the last minute for um, the import goalie. Yeah. Um, so um, Pine Murphy has been you know a standout really. Yeah. Um, and then the other two imports we've got um, Christian Isaacson and Parker Thomas. Yeah. Um, now Parker Thomas, I think um, he's played two games and he's had three goals yeah, um, okay. in those two games. So I think he's a you know a player to watch out. And then um, Christian Isaacson has played five games and four goals in those five games. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I guess you can see see the quality of the imports. Yeah. Sounds like they need a bit more deep power by the sounds of the stats. Yes. You can have you can have as much power you like up front except if you can't stop them from scoring goals, you're never gonna win games. That's right. Which is a big thing for the AIHL I think because it's tough it's tough when you lose some key players to really recoup that strength 
because if you lose a D, it just takes so much away from your team, especially if you only run two main lines. Mm. And then to try and kind of make that back up and get the same gel that you had before can be really difficult. And we said that in a few teams this year that they're really strong in their forwards or really strong in their D, but it just they can't quite like blend together to get the puck out or to br- do like a successful breakaway, mm. which they'll del- develop through the season, but it'll be tough in the meantime. Mm. So uh, I also spoke to Thomas Lander on Thursday and do you want to tell us about his new milestone? Yeah, so, well, he is a, um, a permanent resident now. Um, he got um, his citizenship uh, in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, um, yeah no longer an import. Um, and then uh, he also played his 150th AIHL game on on Sunday last week in Adelaide, so quite a feat. Yeah, I don't think he even knew. No. In the, yeah, and the interview was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll shoot that over to you now. Hi, Lucy Vaughan here for the Newcastle North Stars. I'm here with Thomas Lander, who recently played his 150th AIHL game and scored his 250th points. How's that feel? I actually didn't know about that, so. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about the points at all, so thank you. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's <laughs> How many points was it? 250. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. How many games? 150? Happy yeah. Uncle Steven. You're a big deal Uncle around Steven, here. Um, I wouldn't say so. So, what's your favourite thing about playing for Newcastle? Uh, <laughs> it's not the travelling thought, but I think we have a pretty good, uh, good group of people here. Uh, I love uh, imports for this year. Uh, I think we have a fun here. Yeah. If you had to pick a favourite teammate, who would it be? Uh, favourite teammate? Ah, uh, I wouldn't pick anyone. All right, fair enough. <laughs> so, what do you think has led you to score all these points in the AHL? What do you do? Uh, just trying to play my hockey and put a hundred per hundred percent every game, and yeah, keep it simple and put everything what I have. So we've been winning all of our games so far. Are you feeling good about the weekend? Uh, yeah, I think we have a pretty strong lineup for this season. Uh, but I don't think we have played against the strongest team. So the real test just uh, is ahead. So. All right, thanks for your time, Tommy. Get back out to training and we'll see you on the weekend. Thank you. With great to talk to Thomas on Thursday night, we're going to cross up to Pete in the commentary booth now. Hi, Pete. How is it up there? Yeah? yeah the view's great. Yeah. Nice and warm. <laughs> it's warmer than when you are, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is pretty hot up there. So, what do you think of last night's game? Uh, last night, I, I think it showed where the teams were at the moment. Uh, it was definitely uh, one of the strongest games we've seen from Andre Smart. Yep. Uh, he's, um, he's been here for the full month, and he seems to get better as he goes along, so it's a shame that he's, uh, we've only got him for this weekend and next weekend. Yeah. And um, uh, we also saw Sammy Banger really step up, so uh, Dom Goodbye had, um, he had his uh, arm kind of squashed against him in that first period and went off the ice, so we didn't see him for the rest of the game. Uh, and um, Sammy really stepped up to fill up that gap and, uh, and made a big impact on the game. Of course, scoring a hat-trick is kind of a good way to do it, but all those goals were started by Andre, so uh, not having, he was going to be a big change for us, but yeah. you know, at least the North Stars got a head start, we'll have to see what they can make of it now. And I think it makes a big difference to have someone come in and really set the standard. Like, this is this is how we play good hockey, yep. and this is how we win games. Because sometimes you just need that bit of motivation, especially when you only play with your local players. You just need that bit of extra push to really, like, get you to step up that extra level. Uh, there's no better way to set a good example of those two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of great. And then you've got... And I, I can't just say it's just Bert or just Andre or it's just uh, Sammy. There's been leaders. There's all there's a whole locker room of leaders there. Yeah. For the North Stars. We're really uh, lucky that um, you could name half the team as uh, assistant captains pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Matt Lindsay's doing that job already. Uh, this year, Sammy Banger's been uh, assigned uh, as an assistant captain. Um, yeah, there's lots of guys who could give that that, uh, that A2 on that team, or let alone a C. So yeah. uh, it's not surprising, and that they're, they're harnessing that that really uh, it's, it's good application, good uh, good attitude as much as anything. And they're harnessing that as a positive thing, and it's helping them drive. And of course, who better to drive it than uh, John Kennedy? So yeah, uh, he's a perfect uh, mix of that recipe, and it's definitely working for them. Seven in a row. I know. So what do you think of the breakdown of the leaderboard at the moment? 
Uh, I think it's, it's hard to say. That, I mean, we're always aware of teams kind of coming to our own until mid-May, and we've reached that point now. Uh, and, and it's still worrying for me for teams like Melbourne Ice. I thought would be would start to be improving by now. And um, uh, but you know they've also had kind of had a tough couple of tough breaks. We had the same thing last year. We started off with a couple of good ones, but then we had some tough breaks. Um, so at the moment, uh, what I'm trying to say is I think that the league that I wouldn't be surprised if things kind of stay as they are. Yeah. Um, the uh, the Bears are looking really good. Brave are looking excellent. Uh, we're, we've started off beautifully. And, yeah. uh, and the Ice Dogs are looking really dangerous. They've lost some depth, but the quality of the players they have is, is phenomenal. So um, I can really see, and Perth are still in there too. So uh, they're yet to get their full complement. Uh, I'll be really interested to see what, how they go when they've when they got a full, uh, full complement of players. Yeah, it's too, still too hard, early, early call, funnily enough, and we're nearly, you know, we're halfway through May now. So. Yeah, well, we're halfway through our home games nearly. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's good that we've made uh, hay by the sun shining here in, at uh, Walters Bay because yeah. uh, uh, we won't have as many home games to come. Uh, like you say, we're one short of half after tonight, and uh, it's good that we got the points when we, when we could. I mean, I think 21 points, I don't think we reached that last year until June, July last year, so uh, we've definitely had a much, well, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely our best ever start to any season. Who do you uh, think we should um, keep an eye out for tonight on the Mustangs? Uh, well, uh, Jordan Owens has been added to the team. His credentials are phenomenal. They're right up there with Andre Smart, maybe even better. Like phenomenal uh, credentials. Uh, a really experienced player. Um, he's uh, he's uh, he's still young enough to be really effective. Um, I think he's mid thirties or early thirties. So that's kind of prime age for a hockey player. It's that perfect mix of still physical, but got all the mental skills as well. Yeah, so, so much of a yeah. mental game. Exactly, yeah. I think it'll be phenomenal. I'm really so looking forward to seeing him play. I just hope he doesn't score a whole bunch of goals against us tonight. Uh, it's awesome to see, gr- to see great hockey, but also it's hard to see it against you. Yeah, you've got you to cheer for the game sometimes, especially with yeah. the commentary booth. You've got to uh, love it for the game. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. And, uh, and of course, the goalies. Uh, Jane Pine Murphy's had an awesome start to the, to the year. They've missed out on Travis Fullerton. And uh, JPM's been awesome, so uh, looking forward to seeing how he goes against uh, uh, Dane Davis at the other end from North Stars, who's had a great start to the season yeah. and, and helped by a good team in front of him. Definitely. He didn't have that support last year. His stats didn't look because of, it for, uh, because of that. You can't write him off. The guy's a champion. I know. He played an awesome game last night as well. Yeah, great positioning, cool head, not a problem for, uh, for Dane Davis. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Pete. We'll head over to you soon. All right. See you later, Lucy. So, Tori, do you want to give us a bit of wrap-up of the next couple of weeks, the games that we have coming up for the North Stars? Yeah, so, um, well, next weekend we're down in Melbourne. We're facing Melbourne Ice and Mustangs. That's uh, the, the second time <laughs> that we've nearly played teams back-to-back yep. at our home game. Yeah, what we did with Adelaide. Adelaide yeah. was, um, yeah, the Sunday, and then we went to their barn for the for the doubleheader last weekend. If we can keep um, the momentum, it works well. Yeah, yeah, and we, we know what we're up against. Um, this is our uh, next week will be our fifth double header, um, and then we have some uh, single games. Um, we've got one in Sydney, and then we come back and, and play here on the uh, 9th of June, which is against the Ice Dogs. So it'll be a nice break for some of the guys to have a few single games as well. Yes. It must be tough on them to have so many double headers in a row and a lot of time away from home as well. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know they played really well. Like I don't think fatigue has set in, even though we play you know two games every. Um, every weekend and we've you know done the trip to Adelaide so yeah I think you know they're playing well and we've just got to keep going that with that fitness aspect as well yeah I think that's really um, changed a lot this year um, that the fitness and the discipline yeah. um, that coach JFK has brought to the team I def- there's definitely a big difference in the ba- in like the attitude on the ice as well like you can see it when the boys are playing that they're playing smart hockey they know what they're doing they know what to expect and they really they want to go out there and play awesome they want to impress John essentially yeah <laughs> which yeah. is great it's good to see so uh, tonight we're up against the Melbourne Mustangs we're at the Waters Bay Ice Hockey Rink and uh, that's us for today I'm Lucy Bourne and I'm Tori Diver
Brave, Brave, and a save there by Nate Scott. So he's last with a shot yes. and he scores. Lee drives it in, walking in, he shoots and scores! Mustangs, to our first one! It's racing, it's a show and scores! 4-4! Oh. <laughs> Lachlan going to the net, shoots, and he scores! And towards Cox, goes to the shot away, Davis makes the save, no, it's in! It's in, first over the lead! Live from Hunter Ice Skating Stadium in Newcastle, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Onus. Onus are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider. And APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. Hello and welcome everyone to Hunt Race Skating Stadium tonight. Uh, we've got the host, the Newcastle North Stars hosting the Melbourne Mustangs here. With me is Steve Lindsay. You're welcome, Steve. Ooh, how good is it to be back here again? And another Melbourne team after Melbourne the Melbourne Ice last night. Now the Melbourne Mustangs tonight. A Melbourne double. It's fantastic because yeah. I am very, very excited about this game. Last night the North Stars really did a job on the Melbourne Ice, but the Mustangs I think are going to be a little bit tougher tonight than what the Ice were. That's what I'm expecting, yeah. Uh, we've had a Melbourne team that uh, has been kind of hot and cold so far in their starts, but I think that's more a reflection of the players they've had available to them and the players available to the teams that have been playing them Absolutely. as well. Uh, so we've seen lots of... Um, uh, well, disruption to teams with players not available or waiting to come over from other leagues or injuries or stuff like that. So uh, hopefully this is a settled Melbourne Mustangs team now. It certainly looks like they've got some good talent to uh, bring up against the North Stars so far undefeated. Well, they've had great goaltending. I mean, <laughs> Pine Murphy's been huge back there for them yes. and uh, has really been helping them a lot. I mean, their leading goal scorer is Michael McMahon, a defenseman. So, I mean, offense comes from defense. We keep talking about that. And the fact that they're getting that is, is a wonderful uh, uh, the fact that they're so strong out there on the ice. So, And, of course, they've got Mitchell Humphreys, they've got Jamie Burke. I mean, they've got all these good local talent to support the imports that they've brought out this year. That's always been the violin I've always played, is that these local guys are the guys that win your championships. Yeah. Yeah. Because when your imports go off, and they, they might cancel against other imports, but it's it, when you can put out a second line that's like that sort of import level, that seems to be really what gets your championships. And we've seen that happen before. Well, last night we saw the North Stars. Their third line was Thomas Lander, <laughs> Richard Tesserik. I mean, like, say it, Income. <laughs> that is incredible that's just, depth. That's just ridiculous, yeah. But so this will be the first real test, I think, that the North Stars have had this season. I think it'll be their toughest test, yes. Mm. Yeah, and they've brought in uh, Jordan Owens, who's uh, just a phenomenal player. Played AHL, DEL, um, EIHL, or some of the biggest leagues around the world. Uh, I'm really looking forward to him and just hope he doesn't uh, just beat Play up on the well. North Stars. <laughs> no, just watching him in the warm-up, smooth, calm. And then the puck just left his stick so fast. Yeah. So you can tell that he's a talented player. But talented players need others to play around him as well too. Do, so yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to see whether, uh, how they handled him in this game tonight to make sure that they get the best out of him. Tori told me he had no points last night. But, yeah, his, his first couple of days in the country, uh, he could be jet lagged. He could be getting to know everybody and how he fits in. And that's not unusual. No. Uh, we saw guys like Michael Forney come over here and, and had a... a didn't have a good first game, but a couple of weeks later he was just racking up the points like nobody's business. So well, that first and game we might be lucky having him here tonight. Well, that's right. We thought he had his first game against the North Stars when they were really, really good. So uh, he, yeah. he did struggle a little bit to get going, but once he got going, my God, he was fantastic. Yeah. But, I mean, you've got to look at Sammy Banger for the North Stars. I mean, the guy's over three points a game. He's just had a sensational series, sensational yeah. season so far. Um, now, we're only just starting it, basically. I mean, we saw only a quarter of the way through. Uh, anything can happen, but I mean, he is just an elite talent. For sure, yeah, and it, he just couldn't really shine as much as he should have last year. He still managed uh, over two points uh, a game last year. Just They couldn't get the chemistry going with the other guys we had, uh, and this year he just seems, that he's, he's with Dom Goodbye and, and the defensive core, especially, that we've got this year, and, and even mixing it up with some of the other locals, uh, Jaden Ryan and... And uh, sometimes they've put Hamish Powell or they've put in Pat Naden. They've mixed some of those guys in with them. Yeah, Shane Southwood, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, again, we've got enough. great depth this year. Yeah, so you've got those guys, those real diggers. They get in there and, and get the puck out for you. Yep. Get it in front of the net. 
Semi Banger bangs it in. <laughs> love that, Pete. I didn't mean to do no, that. I love it when you do that. <laughs> well done. No, he got two, two uh, deflection goals last night, and the first one was sensational because that was sort of hip high. So to actually pick that out of the air was sensational. And then the second one was just a nice low shot that he deflected up high. But I mean, his ability to be able to see the park yeah. and direct it towards the net is sensational. And it was off brilliant. Andre's stick, which must have been absolutely moving. And, and to hit. He had a great game. Even to put a touch on it, it was great hand eye coordination. Yeah. I hired his parents, so they're watching all the way from Canada. I knew they do watch. His dad stays up late to watch. So does Mark Malloy and well, be several of the parents of the, fam- uh, the uh, guys playing for us. Well, I'd be very proud of him for what he did last night. He just yeah. grabbed that game by the scruff of the neck, shook it, and said, This is mine. And uh, he did a wonderful job job and then yeah. Banger just said okay I'll just stand here and I'll take the best of it so it was great it's easy to pick out those three talents last night there was Simi Banger there was Dane Davis and there was Andre Smart but there yep. was also some other guys who had awesome games as well uh, I saw Pat Naven um, Liam Manwari yep was digging deep last night uh, look you could name pretty much all that whole team uh, Tommy Tommy Lander now back in regular lineups and of course Richie Tesserick every night maximum effort Lander and Tesserick together on the PK is just awesome. I mean, uh, they're so good at it, and you really think, are they going to score? Are they going to? Whenever they get anywhere near the puck, and they're on the PK. Yeah. So, uh, again, great depth in the North Stars this mm-hmm. year. So I'm really looking forward to this game, mate. This yes, is be yeah. Well, it's a shame I couldn't watch more. For uh, uh, would have been good to see how the Mustangs played last night, but uh, I had struggled. <laughs> I struggled to watch this game last night. <laughs> I was a bit worse for wear yesterday. So uh, apologies to anyone who had to listen to me last night. Um, so. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to this one. It's going to be a real exhibition. I have seen a couple of Mustangs game when uh, when they're playing down in Melbourne. And I like what I see. They're going to like the hard ice here. Really cold, hard ice in Newcastle. I think it's probably the coldest, the hardest in the country. So, well, again, the Mustangs are nice. young and they're a fast team. So uh, they'll compare. certainly be testing the North Stars tonight. And I think the North Stars decor will be uh, expecting that and will be ready for it. I mean, again, they've done a really great job this year being able to support the forwards. And, uh, and making all the offense happen that has happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, just looking at the Mustangs, geez, they've lost, you know, the games they've lost. We're talking about shootouts and yeah, overtimes. I mean, so they've been right there. But the games they've won have been fairly close as well too. So yeah. they're a team that's full of grit, full of grind, and they're heavy. So uh, they'll be in this game right to the word. And like, like the Ice Dogs are famous for, they're, they're a team that can fight back really well as well. Absolutely. Just on ice, there is a short uh, thanks to Andre Smark, who uh, will be leaving us not this weekend, he'll be after next weekend. So sorry, Melbourne people, he is coming to Melbourne. Mm-hmm. So you'll get to watch a great hockey player, but <laughs> watch out, he's, a, he's really good to watch. Yeah, it's fantastic to watch. And again, we keep harping on last night's game. I mean, if he can even get close to that again, you're going to see a fantastic hockey player. You will. <laughs> It's worth the admission price. <laughs> yeah, that's what we say. Yep. For hockey purists, definitely worthwhile. Yes. Uh, so, other thoughts, Steve. Um, you know some of these guys. You know, you know uh, Mike McMahon personally. He was a mate of, uh, of Matthews and played in the Australian team with him. Great player. I mean, he's a wonderful defensive player. I mean, his positioning, his gap control is just wonderful. But obviously this year he's shown that he can have offense as well too. So, uh, uh, he's a real weapon for them. He's their captain. And he's actually being uh, given that reward because of his ability on and off the ice. So I really, I really like watching, and a lovely bloke. I mean, uh, we we're with his parents uh, this year in Serbia, and uh, t- tremendous people, really wonderful people. So, just pause for the anthem. Stand again. Great to have it sung live here at Warners Bay, a nice gang stadium. All right, Steve. Looks like we got Dane Davis in there again. And so we should. I mean, he's playing so well. And last night, calm, square to the puck always. There's no rebounds coming off him. He just had a sensational game. Played really, really well. Again, behind a really good team in front of him. What I like about watching the Mustangs, they've got 16 skaters tonight, so they've brought 
pretty much. A full bench, yeah. A full bench. And, uh, okay, yes, they played last night, as did the North Stars, but I don't think that's going to worry them too much in regards to their fitness and that. As I said, they're a young, quick team, so uh, I think they're going to really give the North Stars something to think about tonight. One thing we haven't talked about yet is that uh, one of their imports is Max Parent, or Max Perron. Um, he's actually the coach, but because they've had, they've had a couple of players delayed getting here, he's been playing, continued to play as an import. So we've got Damien Holland, the assistant coach, uh, being their bench coach for the night too. But uh, Max Perron was a good player for him last year. Of course, being the coach, he's fully invested in the team. So uh, I'll be interested to see what he can do for him tonight. Oh, he's certainly going to get the best out of him. He's going to have bleed orange all through him. Yeah, he's going to have to lead by example, and he does. So who have we got with the stripes there? Is Kent it Unwin. Oh, it's Ken Unwin. Okay. Yeah. It might be uh, Darren. And I saw Daniel Bohr is one of our linesmen. Sorry, Daniel. I couldn't remember your last name last night because I was not fully with it last night. Nick Ayer as well as the other linesman. Nick Ayer again. All right. Back in, we're underway. I shouldn't say back underway. And Mustangs have possession in the neutral ice. And a long pass goes across to Bright and into the zone, into the North Star zone to go. Setting up quickly with a shot on net, a long one, and a clever one, and it goes off the metal work and into the corner. That's what you got to be careful of. I mean, he has got a heavy shot. And that was McMahon, 25, just as we mentioned, Steve. Hmm. Yeah, as I said, he's a leading scorer for the Mustang, so uh, we don't want to see him with the puck. Probably taking a shot from the sideboards is not too bad. I mean, Davis should have an opportunity to see that all the way, but if he gets in the middle and lets one of those clappers go, it could be a problem. Face-off is a bit of a mix-up, a bit of a blender. Mustangs come out of it, though. Spin around, quick shot on net, and then saved by Davis and uh, stop a player with 14.32 left in the first. A bit of chatting going on already between the two teams, because you're right, Peter, that was a very, very messy face-off, and there was a few blokes getting a bit pushy and chubby. Jamie Burke is always one that's going to be talking. Yeah, well, if that's how he injects himself in the game, that's what you want from the players. <laughs> Just got to not draw penalties, that's all. Into the corner they go. Mustangs, so far, maintaining pressure in the North Star zone. Newcastle yet to get out of there, at least through the neutral zone. Opposite of what we saw last night. A great start for the Mustangs, that's in the neutral ice, but Mustangs have possession. It's back to Erzin. Burke, he hands it off. Jones will dump it in, and they're going for a change, the Mustangs, but they get first to the park. Newcastle have a collision between their own players. Off some Newcastle gear and loose, picked up by the Mustangs. A backhander goes wide into the corner. And once again, awesome pressure by the Mustangs to pin the North Stars in their end. A great job by Troy Robertson the there from the Mustangs to pinch in and make sure the play stayed in. Around the boards it goes. Mustangs retrieve it out of the corner. Newcastle get the puck. And oh, oh that that was got close. a break away there. Quickly on the park is Tesserick. There's no one going to him, so he does take a shot. It goes out through the other side due to the angle. It's basically square to Pine Murphy. But it had the desired effect, but quickly Mustangs return. Fire that well high of Davis. So Bunny doors break up the play a little bit. Newcastle now moving forward into the zone. Have to avoid getting offside, but they get some play. Going. Shot by Banger, and it's saved by Pine Murphy. Goes behind the net and scoop pushed around by Mitch Humphreys. Behind the net for Perron. And Max Perron stops play. Well, we're two minutes into the game. And the North Stars have finally got down to the Melbourne Mustangs end. So that's a real credit to the Mustangs for the fact that they were able to put that pressure on. And their forecheck pressure was sensational. It was terrific. There was nothing wrong with what the North Stars try and do on their breakout. But they just had no time, no space to be able to do anything. Mr. Isaacson is taking the face off. And Newcastle win it. Jaden Ryan down deep to get it. He'll try and get it in front. He's got help from Banger and, and Drolet is the man trying to get in front of the net. So North Stars without goodbye. So they're playing three imports tonight. Down deep. Mustangs. Owen's button hooks. Shot from the point. A save for Davis with the pads. He could see that all the way. They had no screen. North Stars versus speed to try and get up ice. But a great steal away there by Jordan Owens. Tries to move, doesn't get past two players, and North Stars push it out as they're going for a change. That was Bermaloy. Now the Mustang setting up. Backhand pass. Tempted shot on net, saved by Davis. And it's in the corner. Sprawling saved by Davis, had to stretch right out. 
I have a play by Owen then to just uh, try and get uh, Davis offside and get him on the other side of the net. Made him move and then he sent him back the way he came. Very and clever. What we came to see, quick shot on net. And I don't know what that hit, but it didn't make it in. Mustangs. We need to sit the other end, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Too far away. Puck is loose, picked up by Newcastle finally. They're trying to go past up ice and it's off a stick and straight to the Mustangs. Yeah, pressure to, is a credit to the Mustangs. They've really come to play tonight. Well, doing better than that. They are uh, controlling the play here for the most part. Driving towards the net. Back and forth goes Burke. And a quick shot on net is, is the North Stars. But they're going to race here and the Mustangs win it again. Hand it off with the puck now is Tom Parker Thomas. Stumble gives the North Stars an opportunity into the zone. Dig the puck out of the corner, but there's too many white jerseys and it's broken up. It was Lander getting some work, but it's an icing on the Mustangs, so an opportunity for the North Stars to actually be in the Mustangs end. I'm really impressed with Andrew Erzin from the Mustangs. He's been strong and solid back here on the, the defensive, and he's been keeping the North Stars out when they've been able to get some sustained pressure down here. He's obviously a very good defenseman, but the North Stars now need to make something out of this. Take yourself one by the Mustangs. But they can't get it out. It's recovered by Lander at the half boards. He's got help from Hamish Powell in the corner. It's hit hard. Tesserick comes in to help out. He's going to take the other side. Does a move. Powell's with him. Shot on net. It goes try the, tries the high corner. It's high and goes out of the boards and all the way down the other end. Let's go play JC. Yeah, it was... Of, um, who, who wants to bleak first there? Eh? Mustangs recover the puck in the corner, but the North Stars get it back. This Long could be pass. And it doesn't hit the stick, so uh, opportunity lost. Lander there with some speed. North Stars get it in front, but there's lots of white jerseys to support. They collapse in, and the Mustangs will bring it out as Troy, uh, Troy Robinson, pardon me, had the puck. Davis will play it around the boards. North, uh, Mustangs are there to cut it off. North Stars break out. It has been really good this year, which was very different last year. And then there's only got a quick shot off, and, didn't, off, and that hurt. <laughs> off the ankle there of Abs. He was, straight, he was straight up again. Yeah, sure was. Around to the other side, and breaking out of the zone now is Thomas Flack. Offside Mustangs, 9.30 left in the first period. There's no scoring yet. Love the sustained pressure from the Mustangs. They've obviously... No, the boards are being used a lot by the North Stars to try and get out of their zone this year, and they've taken that away from them all in this first six minutes of this period, and the North Stars are going to have to adjust slightly. Mustangs win it off the face-off, quick shot on net, and it's gloved by Davis with a stop of play, 9 at 25 left. We're probably doing the Mustangs a favour by broadcasting more of our games to get to see what we do. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, they've just done a wonderful job keeping the pressure on. As I said, they're a young, fast team. They're skating hard, and uh, the North Stars are struggling a little bit at the moment. Nice thanks to the puck from the face-off. Working the corner is Vadim Vyasov. Played in the Aussie team this year. Originally from Estonia, I believe. And... North Stars losing possession in the neutral zone. Mustangs take it back to their D, back and forth between Wright and McMahon. Mustangs try the left wing, but it wasn't a good pass, so it was picked off by the Jest of Southwood. Couple of moves by Andre Smart. Don't fool Mustangs, and they get the puck back. But it's through some traffic, and North Stars back checking. Smart waiting to see who's coming on, and he's looking for a change. Not sure what Parker Thomas was thinking then, he just... Mustangs with an opportunity in front, shot, saved by Davis well in position. Didn't bite off on that uh, bit of a fake there but from the Mustangs. Erzin carries the puck, he's got pressure from Tesserick. Long pass, goes through the players and waved off is the icing. Interesting call. Yeah, I didn't think that was worth waving off. <laughs> Uh, into the corner they go. Tesserick pins his man on the board. With the puck now is Lander. He's got two men on him. In comes Powell now to help, but too late. 
Huck goes out of the zone. And Malloy in pursuit. Sean Jones covering him. And the boards for Powell. Pin before he can get it away. He's got Michael McDowell on him. There's a puck. Long pass. Right on the stick of Burke. And he's offside though. Moving in with 7.34 left in the first. No Pim's, score. That's speed of the Mustang. That's caught them offside twice now. But it's something that the North Stars are struggling a little bit to handle. Uh, I do also like the uh, the lineup down with uh, Hamish Powell being out there with uh, Lander and Tesseric. Just uh, Hamish is just going to have to keep his head up just a little bit and make a few decisions just a little bit quicker. Yeah, do that quick on that one. Yeah, caught out. Stop a play at the at the blue line there. I think it was not being offside. Yeah, because Lander and Tesseric are both very very quick, so he's going to need to be quick. Nothing wrong with getting down and digging the puck out, but if he wants to get up the ice, he's going to have to be quick. Mustangs have it again off the face-off. Their face-offs have been excellent. That's shot on net. An easy one for Davis, who has to play it. North Stars chip it off the boards. They're going to pick it up in the, with some speed in the uh. zone. But across comes number 24, Rich Humphreys, who cut off the puck. He's got it right now. He's going to go wide. Uh, takes the right wing. He'd said he's passed it to Banger. He cast it in the zone. Drolley has got a bit of space. No, it's taken away from him by Mitch Humphreys again. All over the place, Mitch Humphreys. done a great he, job. He is. Is that your import? Oh, it's Mitch Humphreys. <laughs> Jane Ryan got the puck down low. He's got Banger to help him out. Max Perrin's down there as well. Quick shot on net. Save there. Banger gets the shot away through all that traffic. Drolet in front. Loose. It's a stick fighting competition. There's going to be high sticking here. I mean, Play with a high stick. Okay, well... <laughs> could have been a few calls in that. Yeah, sure, could have been there. But how there was good a big cross checks. Sammy Banger with his skill to be able to actually get that puck, get the shot away, and then get another rebound. Uh, two shots of rebound there. It was incredible. Just the skill with his stick is phenomenal, which he showed last night in these deflection goals, but just wonderful watching that tonight. All Stars win that momentarily, but they've lost it to the Mustangs. McMahon into the corner. Pressed by Naden. Waring having a shift. He was great last night. Bit of grit and a bit of speed from Waring. Yeah, he's going to get caught for that for sure. Yep. Another call. That was. He'll yeah, be was hooking. It? Yeah. Yeah. He got his stick Too up a bit grit. high. So this is going to play nicely for the Mustangs. They'll be getting a power play soon. Shot and a save by wow. Davis. Now will stop play. That was a big shot. For Davis to come across and get square to that shot and handle it was just sensational. That was brilliant goaltending. But yes, Peter, Pat Naden just got a little bit too aggressive down here. He didn't get the result he wanted on the little battle that he had. And uh, when the puck came around, uh, he just had his stick up in the hands. and It was always going to be hooking. You could see our referee just look at it and go, bingo. Hand went up straight away. Too easy. Off he goes for two minutes. So, we, this will be interesting. Well, the penalty kill was wonderful last night for the North Stars. So, so Jordan Owen's taking the face off. Aggressive when they had to be and not aggressive when they didn't have to be. So, it'll be interesting to see what they do tonight. So, we've got um, Isaac Christensen. He's on the on the left side of the defence. And we've got Jordan Owen's taking the face off. So, I reckon, and I think he's at McMahon on the right point. So, they've got a couple of very good options there. And D defeated back to for some shots. It hasn't worked out for them. It's gone out of the zone, so Mustangs will need to get organised. Tesseric landed two great penalty killers from their speed. And there's also Andre Smark. Got plenty of checks out there. And you've got your best penalty killer, Dane Davis, who just flicked the puck out of the zone. They sure do. But Mann carries a puck, looking for a better breakout. He's going to take the right win. It didn't quite work out. Vyasov went under his stick. Newcastle happy to kill some time. Slaps it down the ice. Stopped in neutral zone by Isaacson. Looking to bring it in. He'll chip it in. And pursuing it is Vyasov. It's markets to it first. Huck squeezes through the players, but kept in the, in the attacking zone by the Mustangs. Tries a backhand, but cut off by the defensive stick, and Newcastle will get it out of the zone. 
Happy to kill some time oh, here. Oh. Nice move there by Tesserik. Under the ice comes Semi Banga. Couple of players changing here. Both teams. Mustangs now into the Newcastle zone. They've got 40 seconds of power play left. Shot on net. It's a bit of a screen, but not on target there. That was wrong. Another shot on net. Well, wide that one. Davis didn't have to move for it. Going again into the corner. Up it goes to Pro Robertson. Here we go. This could Broken be up chance for Newcastle. In with some speed comes Drolle. Fakes. Back in. Wide. Well wide. In the end. He's got Banger with him though. Newcastle in the Mustang zone. Lost the puck. Oh, wow. Naden with a spurt chance. Tries. It's a short side and it was covered by Pine Murphy. Picked up by Victor. And down it goes to the North Stars end. No icing on oh, that one. Beat the chase. Mustangs have the puck. But it's going to go out of the zone after that great foot race. And Mustangs will need to get onside. North Stars have had the opportunity to change as Burke waits to uh, get his team organised. Good four check for Newcastle gets an opportunity. And it's taken away there by, is it Anderson? Yep. Yes, Matt Anderson. Shot fired, bounces into the corner of the half boards right now. Newcastle come out with it. They'll try the left wing. Pass under the stick by Nadem. Nice move. Driving towards the net. Tries to get in front. Does get it on net, but uh, pushed aside by D. Goes to the Mustangs players fortuitously for them. Battle down low. And Abs comes away with it, but he's got to contend with Richard Tesserick. Bump from Naden. Lander spins and records. Loose in front. Nearly home goal. <laughs> right on the stick there of Parker Thomas. And we're finally seeing some North Stars uh, pressure on the Mustangs as opposed to the other way. Jamie Burke always just, he gets me as a player. He beat that race down the ice to beat the, uh, the icing. Fantastic. He was the first player back to help when the North Stars transitioned and came back. Then went down and almost got an opportunity to score. What a great player. That was just sensational. If he could do that all shift long, he would be just phenomenal. He's very good, but he would be phenomenal. Yeah, when he turns it on, he's Australia, you could call him Australia's best player. When he wants to be. Yeah. To the point. Stopped by Paddy Ward. Goes down low. Jane Wright picks it up off the rebound. Shot in front. It's loose, but great positioning by Pine Murphy. He's got to freeze it, though, and he does get it eventually. Bright. Puts a stick into Drolet's stomach. And he shakes it off. Yeah, there's a little bit of stick work around Jane Pine Murphy's glove then that uh, obviously the Mustangs didn't like and Mike McMahon is now discussing that with him as the captain. I'm sure he's allowed to have a bit of a conversation about it. Face off to the left of Pine Murphy. He hasn't had many of those so far. One by Lander. Kept in, thrown towards the net but wide and gloved by Pine Murphy. Yeah, needed a slightly better shot than that. Something maybe a bit lower, so Pine Murphy wasn't able to grab it so much. Yeah, he didn't get much on it. It was nah. flipping, and it was about a foot wide of the net. Got another face off though. So yeah, that was probably did. good. This one's been picked up by the Mustangs. Uh, Owens gets it to uh, VS off. So there's a good combination there. But the play's been broken up by the North Stars, and they're breaking out of their end. They get it into neutralise. Push up ice here they come. Oh, T nice. Tesserick with a nice pass. Hamish Powell can't keep it away from uh, Isaacson. And now the Mustangs trying to bring it out of their end. Some good forechecking pressure makes it difficult, but Bright's got the puck and he'll move it forward. Neutral ice, and it's broken by, by the North Stars, and they're going to bring it back. Tesserick gets a nice pass away to Lander. Lander can't get the shot away, though. As he spins, and that's out of play. We're going to stop a player. One thirty left in the period still. No, he shoots, he scores. Thomas Lander, he's just kicking himself there. He knew he had a great chance and just could not get the puck to Richard Tesserick in front of the net. Or to Hamish Powell, who was a little bit higher. But Pete, that power play by the uh, uh, by the Mustangs was rather ineffectual because they kept shooting at the net rather than on the net. And they've really got to get the puck on Davis if they want to be effectual. Out on the corner, Newcastle get to the point. Fired towards the net, but a couple of feet wide. 
Pushed back in by Schmack. Just has a beautiful way of just floating the puck in there to time it in front. And attempted redirect by Southwood. He goes straight to Pine Murphy for a stop of play. <laughs> Shane Southwood is looking at Pat Naden and saying, did you really mean to aim that at my head? Was, <laughs> yes. that, was that really what you were trying to do? What did I say? Mm. He cares about the puck. Going to drop it to the right of JPM and it's picked up by Robertson. Off the boards, Sean Jones and floated back in for Parent to clear. Newcastle looking to bring it back. It's gone to Naden. Nice pass on the stick there. Oh, Malloy. No, been worrying. I've done it again. I keep calling him Malloy. Naden there. Nearly had his head pulled off by Parent. Pass onto the stick there. Jones. Happy to push it forward. And Mustangs are trying to set up a North Star zone. Newcastle have the puck right now. Wearing the red today as it's their home Sunday colours. Whoops. Pass gone wrong by Smart there. He used up all his superpowers last night, maybe. Oh. Is that a goal? No, no Dane Davis flashes the <laughs> leather. I was looking at the uh, the hit and I missed with a went behind the stanchion. I couldn't see where the puck went. It was just classic Dane Davis. I think it was actually going over the net. But I mean, it doesn't matter. He flashes the glove, brings it in. Everyone cheers. Yes. The old Davis windmill. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fans at it. But there's a chance for Newcastle to steal the puck into the zone. They go. Nice pass. Oh, not a nice pass to Banger. He had a great chance otherwise. He does get a shot on net, but it's just a spinning shot and... There was nowhere, no surprises possible there for JPM. Andrew Rosen has it, but never mind. That's the end of the period. So, Steve, after our first 15 minutes, we have no scoring. We have the North Stars and Mustangs equal on none. Uh, so, a bit of a goalie duel, a bit of um, a bit of seesawing as far as pressure goes. Well, I think the Mustangs would love to do the same thing that they did when they come out in the second period that they did in the first period. There was just phenomenal pressure that they put on the North Stars. They came at them with speed. They came at them with pressure, and uh, it really affected the North Stars. They just could not get their game going. The North Stars are used to playing the way the North Stars want to play. Yes. Um, they've been sort of dominating teams, so to have someone come at them like that was just a bit uh, unusual for them. And what it tended to do, not only did it not allow them to get out of their own zone, but in the neutral zone, the giveaways were horrendous. I mean, I have no actual count on it, but they just weren't smooth with their passes through that zone. So that's why they weren't obviously getting into the offensive zone, because you need to keep the puck to be able to do that. Was so it because the Mustangs were oh expecting to use the boards? Yeah, they, were, they knew exactly what the North Stars were going to do, and they had players there in strength with speed. And that's, that's the, that was the real difference between the other teams that we've seen play up here in Newcastle so far this year. So full credit to them and their coaching staff to actually have a plan to how they're going to beat the North Stars um, at their own game. So it'll be interesting to see if they can do that for three periods, though. That's the thing. We talked about this a bit last night. The North Stars are very deep with their three lines, and uh, it's, it's difficult for other teams that have two good lines and oh. a third line that they've brought... <laughs> Um, I mean, everyone who plays in the AIHL is a bloody good ice hockey player, there's no doubt about that. But with the uh, sort of strength that we've got on the North Stars this year, the depth, it's a real problem for other teams. Sure is. Uh, so we've had no scoring okay. so far. It's nil all after the first period. Two great goalie. Uh, we've seen two great goalie uh, performances at either end. And we've also got some great players out there to, uh, to match up. So I uh, won't talk for too long. We've uh, got Ray Sheffield to uh, talk with the girls here in the break so uh, we'll uh, see you for the second period soon so after one period we've got the North Star Zero and the Mustang Zero here at Hunter Skating Stadium and we'll catch you for the second soon Hi Lucy Bond here with the Newcastle North Stars I'm here with Ray Sheffield one of our assistant coaches what do you think of the game so far? Um, I think we got off to a pretty slow start, but uh, I think the boys started to find their feet at near the end of the period there, so it was good. What part on that big burst of energy just in the last couple of, like, five minutes? Um, uh, we played yesterday, had a tough game yesterday, and I think it just took a little time. So uh, it was always going to happen, but uh, a little slower than we thought. So. Who do you think we should keep an eye out for a standout game with the North Stars this game? Uh, today, I think Dane. 
Dane's going to be playing pretty well. I think he's, he's pretty pumped. So. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Ray. We'll talk to you soon. No worries.
Back everyone, time race getting steady for the second period of this Australian Ice Hockey League game. We have the hosts, the North Stars, with zero, and the Mustangs, the visiting team, also with zero, Steve, after one period. And last night's game was nil all yeah, as well at the end of the first period, and then uh, the North Stars exploded, so it'll be interesting to see uh, whether that happens again tonight or not. Mm -hmm. Different team, the Mustangs, to what the Ice are. Yes, oh, they're very they quick, are. very fast, they're, doing, they're putting a lot of pressure on the North Stars, so it's a credit to them the way they're playing tonight. Yeah, so um, we were talking before about uh, the ability to roll three lines. North Stars have been doing it to their advantage this yep. season. And also with their extra fitness push and just rolling three lines and mixing up those uh, the players that have had the ability to kind of tie down other teams. Uh, but um, we, what I've noticed, uh, we were talking about it during the break, is that Mustangs have also been running three lines. We've seen every one of their players that they've bought on the ice except for the backup goalie. So... That should help um, offset that advantage that the, must, the North Stars have been exploiting. And I think it's one of the reasons why they've been able to keep up their pace. Oh, and uh, I agree with you 100%. It's clever ice hockey. If you've got the depth, you need to play all three lines. Well, then they have. So Ken Unwin has a puck. We're about to drop on the second period, and we're underway. Mustangs win that face off. Off the boards, Vyasov gets it through the crowd. Picks it up through the crowd, I should say. Now he's trying to bring it in the zone. He's got to get, get around some red jerseys. Does a toe drag. Drives towards the net. That scores! Gets it through the fly hole. Mm, and Matthew Lindsay will not be happy with he the speed. He didn't the have Russell. his happy face on there. No, just straight around him. They're actually uh, roommates over in Serbia, so <laughs> that's, that, that's not going to help his mood either, to tell you the truth. So that was a shame. But again, just wonderful skill there by Rasov to actually come around the outside there and come through. I'm sure Davis would like to have that all over again because it was only just down low so um, normally he has the bottom of the net covered very well so he would have been a bit disappointed with that slipping through too. So quickly Mustangs first to register a goal which is also what happened last night second period and I scored first. North Stars stroke back within a minute so we'll see what they can do now in reply. Attempted shot on net and that one stopped by Jaden Pine Murphy. Yeah, Hamish Powell there having an opportunity unfortunately again went low instead of coming up high he may have got something because Pine, Pine Murphy does go down very quickly so uh, trying to get something up high on him might be the way they need to be going to get another goal here tonight or to get a goal here tonight hmm. Race off to the left of Pine Murphy that goes back to the defence Mark sends it through his E-man partner and the Mustangs will get that off a bouncing puck and bring it into the North Star zone Fire it in deep Paddy Ward to it first. He's got McDowell and Jones to deal with. Jones has the puck. Smart. He's a Michelle and he's going to get a penalty for it. Not sure if that was a... Good on you, Davis. It was called a slash. Yeah, it was pretty obvious that there was, he was going to have to go for that. But I just love the way Dane Davis could, saw the net down the other end. Opportunity, I'm going to shoot it all the way down. <laughs> Time for he missed, unfortunately. But, uh, John for the uh, attempted goal. Eh? Yes, but no, uh, that was a, a definite penalty. It was The referee had to call that. So now it's up to the North Stars again to try and battle through this. Opportunity for the Mustangs to get two off here. They'd love to see that. Face off. 
Owens had that face off. Watching out for 18. Our first close look as he's been down the other end most of the night. Puck up high. Goes to defence. It's kept in the zone. It's getting onto it there is Puck Thomas. Back to the point. Lolay for checking there. Stretching out the box a little. Getting aggressive. Malloy now. Now it's Owens. Looking to pass. He goes back to the half boards now to the top of the umbrella. Shot coming. Whoa. And that was wide by Vyasov. That wasn't Vyasov. It was no, Puck it's, Thomas. Yeah. Now to the top again. Owens. Wins it back. Shot. It's high. Oh, nice deflection attempt there by Vyasov. But it didn't go in. And that's squeezed out between a couple of players in the neutral ice. Well done by Sammy Banger. You get the puck all the way down the other end of the Mustang zone. Best way to penalty kill, get the other team's zone. Round, it was around one minute left. And that shot was a great, well, good opportunity, but it wasn't on target. That was by Owens. Right in the top corner, through the screen, off the legs of Lindsay and into the corner. The puck is high off a deflection, and Wilson goes straight to the ass off. Army dispatches it into the corner. Puts it back. Owens. Sends it to the top. To the circle. Picked off. Chance on the other side. Wide of the net. That's two shots that Owens missed now. I yeah. bet she's kicking himself. Mostly he's been looking to pass. He hasn't really... I mean, he's had a couple of opportunities where he really had to shoot, but he seemed to prefer to pass so far. Thomas into the circle. Stick. Active stick there by Lindsay. Prevents a good shot. Owens again, still on the ice, still on the attack. Oh. Cut off by Banger. Well done, Sammy Banger. Now it's up to Lindsay, Banger to defend. The cast have been in their own end a long time. The penalty is over, but they still can't get out. Jones now. Tripped off the boards, and Andres Marks got a breakaway. It's quickly cut down. Cut off there by defenders. Mustangs now coming back the other way. Malloy cuts them off. Castle will get out of the zone. Banger to Naden. Tries to move. Good gets, <laughs> he gets the puck out of the way, but not the man. Mustangs on this tape. Good passing tonight from the Mustangs. Been a big part of their success so far. Now leading 1 0 there. Southwood tries the left wing, stops up, cut off. That's two big hits by Troy Robinson on the North Star players. Just good skating and knowing where people are going to be. Shot on it and glove there by Davis, and no surprise it was Jamie Burke with a whip shot. And we need that face off just to settle everything down again. North Stars just look a little bit off their game at the moment, just not quite connecting as well as they probably would want to. And again, if I can be critical of the Mustangs' penalty power play, is that they really need to shoot on the net not at the net but on the net i think it was only one shot actually on davis during that whole power play so if they're going to be more effective they're going to have to get the get those shots on the net not at the net well not official stats but our own uh, people's stats here in the crew had more stars eight shots on net and mustangs four in the first period so that's an example where you took next to yep so that even though the possession was pretty equal maybe in mustangs favor more stars had double the amount of shots on the net Player falling apps as he ran in toward. Oh, oh gee, that, that was a good deflection. I think you can penalise the player for that. Big hit there with Warren Waring in the corner. Battle continues for the puck. We've got Ferrari and Waring coming out of it there. It's Flack. Takes a hit from the Waring. He's definitely. He's being aggressive. And another penalty, as well, it looks. Was that probably on board the. Get a battle going with apps. I don't think the North Stars have had a power play yet, do they? I think they have actually, but it uh, looks like it's going to be. Dave Ferrari. Everybody, please stand and recognize the magnificence that is a record breaking Dave Ferrari, who's now equaled or surpassed. Surpassed Robert Stark's penalty minutes for the North Stars. Well done, Dave. Congrats, what a Dave. record. He's in the record books for all time. Until the next person yeah. <laughs> passes him. 
Uh, he's always been a team guy, and he's actually a very smart. And oh, here we go. It's a breakaway. Oh, just I'm lucky. Just, just missed his kick there. But Land is still good enough to he's get the puck back. He's still chasing it. Yeah, he will not give up. And he's going to take a... He's lost the stick, so he's heading off ice. Mustang for some pressure. Good pressure. People around the net. And Jesse Owens is the man right in front. Pardon me, Jordan Owens. That was Jordan. Gary's yep. fault. He called him Jesse Owens. I blame Gary. Right here. Jordan into the zone. Spins around. Beautiful move to shake up. That's the not and good. Right into the boards and hard. Head first. Yeah, he, no, that's not good. He lost an edge and went hard. So, Liv, our physio, is going to go check on him. Who's the player? Is that Richie? Richard Tesseric, I think. Yeah, Tesseric. Not Just sure if we can. Uh, I think he's tried to stop and caught an edge and slammed into the into the boards. We'll try and get that up on screen in the replay if we can and see how that can happen. So Bruce Hounslow is our medic, uh, a uh, paramedic of what 30, 40 years. <laughs> I'll tell you, it looked really, really bad in real time. So I hope he's okay. Standing on his own too, and he looks fairly stable, so hopefully he's okay. We've already had lost one player this weekend to injury. But um, yeah, face first into the uh, the boards there is not pleasant. Well, the North Stars have been running nine forwards tonight. They don't have a tenth, so that injury will probably mean there's going to be a bit of a shuffle on the bench. So here he goes. It might be just he was dazed. He might be back later. Might want to wait. Uh, they'll probably do some concussion checks on him. Absolutely. Uh, and see how he goes to see if uh, if he's all clear for the for the third period. I don't think he'll be back for the second. Mustangs out of the puck. Onto the stick there and into the zone they come. Bert Malloy with a hip check, something he's very good at. Moving back and forth. Yes, off. And that puck is taken away by Smart. Moore starts killing the penalty still, 45 seconds of that. Puck goes across, watch out for smart sla slap shot and wrist. Both very effective. Still just one all though, Mustang's favour. It's well in the first shift of this second period. Into the zone they come, look inside, chance, scores! Yeah. Beautiful pass and finished by Viesa. That's two for him tonight. Oh, the great play by him. Just the delay coming. It's a classic. Just have the d guy delayed coming into the zone. Hit him at the top of the slot and then over the goal his glove. Just a classic goal scored by the Mustangs then. But there's just so many bodies coming through. And unfortunately just wasn't picked up quick enough by the trailing forward. So they took away his stick. The perfect place to get a pass between the circles. The classic. Just... A classic ice hockey play. Back North underway, and Rick hands that puck off. Won the face off, looking to get the puck back. And that's off the body and stops play. Is that icing, Steve? It certainly is icing. Yeah, I was going to say, the North Stars, I mean, okay, power play goal is always hard to defend against that. And I mean, the real reality is that they scored that when they actually shot at the net. <laughs> And on the net. They've been listening to Uncle Steve. <laughs> it doesn't matter so much, but so that's how the goal came. But that one there, the North Stars just have to back check quicker. I mean, the speed of the Mustangs is definitely bothering them at the moment. Oh, that's yeah, a they great come pass. again with some numbers. Chance deflection saved by Davis and Beauty. Yeah, that time it was per, uh, Max Parent with a redirect. He's trying to angle it around Davis. Save probably won't get much notice, but it was very good. It was classic. Another shot, another save by Davis, and he covers up. 7.58 left in the second period. 2-0 lead now for the Mustangs. North Stars need to well, get some get some puck time, maybe draw some penalties, because they haven't been able to use that really, really good uh, power play they have. No, that's right. At the moment, the Mustangs are attacking three on two every single shift, so they're putting the, uh, the North Stars under a lot of pressure. And they're drawing penalties because of their pressure. Jaden Ryan now. With some speed, goes up the middle, 
sent it in the corner, so he's going to have to chase it himself. He does with plenty of plenty of effort. So Jolo down low with him. In front, Banger. Ooh. Ooh, couldn't get on that with the uh, defence there in his way. It's Mark. Turns that aside with the skate. Breaking out the play there. Drolle. Got some nice moves. Off the boards that one to Banger. Into the zone he goes. To Schmark. Takes a shot. And it's reflected wide. Drolle keeps it in the zone. Running for his Banger. Got a battle for the puck. Mustangs now on the attack into Newcastle zone. They come in and they drive in hard to get it in, which has been a problem with some of the teams that haven't been driving into that attacking zone. Kind of stop up at the blue line. Mm. To the blue line, shot off uh, Dave Ferrari's legs. He's not uh, cursing, so he must have hit him in the padding. A judicious save it was. And they're there waiting, for the, waiting at the blue line for a breakaway. You have to chase the puck instead. Parker Thomas had that. Now it's going up the right wing. Moving inside. No, hands it off for Owen. And shot on a save by Davis. 16-17 left in the period. Beautiful save by Davis. There was only that couple of inches above his shoulder. He knew that. And he just put his glove there and took the shot away from Owen. But again, well done to the Mustangs to have that speed to come into the zone, set it up, delay, get it back down for him to test Davis. But very, very clever, Dan Davis. He was all over that. Face off one by the Mustangs. Shot from the point is well wide and goes out the other side. Owens gets to it first. Let's go around Malloy. Battles now. Lando gets the puck away. Takes it up to the left wing, Southwood. Tries to step around the man there. Mustangs quickly come. on the counter. Into the circle. Chance for Mustangs in close. Saved by Davis. Loose. Pushed out. And Malloy gets it out of the zone. Landon now on the counter. Couldn't handle it well. And he's going for a change and he's tired. He's Whoops. Landed the boards. We've got a man down short on the change and a nice stick by Lindsay to cut off the pass. Always lost his stick, so he's going to rush off ice to get a replacement player. Fortunately for the North Stars, it got tied up around the penalty box area. Ooh, Delay, that's got to be tripping, yep. And it is. It's going to be the first power play for the North Stars, but unfortunately for Newcastle, that was the line that was on the ice. Ooh. Well, I mean, 2 nil down, this is a wonderful opportunity to carve that and get the, the goal that they really, really need to start building momentum to get back into the game. But, I mean, it started there from Davis, a brilliant save. He had that little deflection save that he made, that one there over his shoulder that he made. He's stood up big. He's supporting the boys. Now it's up to them to put the puck in the net. First opportunity tonight. This has been a deadly power play so far. We'll see how they go against Mustangs, who have been shown to be the best challenge so far for the North Stars. And maybe... If Better than that. North Stars get it to the point. Schmark. He's across. Hands the puck off for the half boards. Relay. Tries down low. Anger with the puck now behind the net. Got Southwood in front. Schmark instead hands it off from the, from the weak side. Moving the player from side to side. The goalie. In by Murphy fakes. Shot. And it's missed. And into the out of play. 4.40 left, 2-0 the lead for Mustangs. Yeah, unlucky. I mean, again, that really needed to be uh, on the net. And the shots, a couple of shots from the North Stars have been way over the net in the last couple of opportunities that they've had, which is a shame. But uh, Damien Bright being really strong and tough in front of the net, letting Sam Banger know that he was he's not welcome to be in front of Pine Murphy. And uh, I think Sammy Banger was fine with that. Face off. Newcastle win it. Need some help from the wingers. Is back to defence. Smart has pressure. So a billiard shot it off the boards. Rolay now with some speed. Let's go to the right wing. Smart there to get it. Stops up and sets up the power play. So Van Gert the half boards. Gert the half boards. Wow. Pass behind the hook. Pass Rolay. Shot. Mm, over the net again. It doesn't get through Pine Murphy. 
Enemy uh, North Stars have it. Malloy hands off. It's to Schmark. Jolay can't handle it that long. He needs to get rid of it. Shoot the puck, boys. Now they're trying to make JPM move side to side, but they've got to get some shots away, or otherwise it's an effectual. Ties a short side. It's loose in front. Oh. Squirts out the other side, and a couple of players wrestling. Anger asked for why wasn't that a penalty. <laughs> he was WWE tackled. Here we go. Nice, run right oh, on the stick, but uh, couldn't handle it. Liam, Liam Manwaring. Manwaring. Somebody Bangor may be a little bit angry at the moment. Trying to get some hits in down low. Stop a play. 3.20 left. Mustang still with the lead. We know. Mm, I like the way the North Stars are being very aggressive now onto the puck and trying to make something happen. They really need the game possession of this and get this goal. This is a great opportunity for them. They've still got 43 seconds still to go in the power play. So they've still got an opportunity to score, but they really would love to do it right now. Three minutes, 20 to go. This would be a perfect chance. 13 seconds of power play remain. 13 seconds. Face off. Newcastle do get it. It's a Talenti to Lander. And the point. Moves it across, takes a shot to the screen, it's high. Right. Again. Mustangs will scoop it out. Land it to it first. He's lost it, but Lander will be first to that. Get back to it, gets it to Lindsay. Lander. Taking leadership role. He's driving his team into the zone. Getting it in front. No. There's another North penalty Stars coming. Drawn a penalty, so Lander's work, his effort here is paid off. Banger back on the ice. The extra man. So they'll roll into another power play, the North Stars, after an easy one for Ken Unwin to hook. Yeah, the good thing is that now this is, gives the North Stars number one unit an opportunity to go out fresh. Whereas uh, the last time they were pretty tired after having a full shift themselves before they actually got the, the uh, power play opportunity. So this should be a difference. But I tell you, the referee has given us opportunity. We need to take it. Mm. We need to take it. Yeah, well, it's, uh, these are the first couple of power plays for the North Stars, and that's mostly because they've been chasing the Mustangs a fair bit. Well, I keep harping on, Pete. they got to put the puck on the net. They do. Listen to Uncle Steve. Puck is loose. Mustangs. Uh, Owens can't get it out. It's won by Droll 8. Chance for Newcastle as the play is down. But it's gone. I can't find no it. No one knows. <laughs> Nobody can find the puck. Looks like Max Perron had it. Nice. Bank off the boards there. Malloy back to get it. It's Mark. We'll back him up. Rolle now. We got the middle. Oh, no, lost the puck. And it's just thrown back to Davis. He'll hold it. And, and decides to go with the right player, Malloy. Rolle is the man to carry the puck. Mark now into the Mustang zone. So we've got 106 left in this second. I'll play for the North Stars. Oh. Tries the short side, but couldn't get a stick on it there. I think it was Francis Brolo. Yep, he's off. Off now. Pass by Malloy. Angle was going the other way, just got a touch on it. So once again, Mustangs have not giving North Stars time and space enough, and it's not been a really effective power play for them. Has a bit of shot on net, yep. So it's not an effective power play. I'm looking for a, bang, uh, for a man in front. It wasn't Bang at the time, I think it was Naden. Can't follow the Mustangs, got one eye alone. Davis with the save, it was Isaacson. Whoops. It's gone all Mustangs player again, another chance. Shot on net, saved by Davis with a blocker. Isaacson again. Man coming in late, shot. Out of. Uh, Davis sliding across well to help to take position there. And Ryan banks off the boards, and that was a good one because it's going to give the North Stars a chance to change. But overall, that was more of a Mustangs, more of a win for Mustangs that power play than North Stars. Great play by Jamie Burke to get that puck back then in the North Stars end. And good positioning. They've got someone up in the, between those circles all the time. Yeah. 
this is what I like about Davis. This is very, very clever. Just actually holding on to the puck so that they can reset. Because the North Stars were scrambling all over the place then. I mean, there's only 24 seconds to go in the period. But they were really scrambling. And the last thing they needed is a third goal scored on them. Face-off will be to the left of Davis. Puck drop. One by the Mustangs. Oh. And a quick snapshot and saved by Davis. Jeez, Davis. That's fantastic. I mean... Yes, the Mustangs have scored two good goals on him, but they've been two really good goals to score on him. Right through the screen. And goes out the other side. Was it Robertson? Nice, right. And Jones has a puck stolen away by Paddy Ward. Here we go, the left wing. Deflection for Banger to pursue, but first it will be McMahon. And that's the period. So that was the Mustangs period. Two goals scored for the Mustangs, both by Van Um I don't know, Steve, what's your thoughts? Well, my thoughts is you normally get to play as well as the opposition allows you to play, and the Mustangs have been all over the North Stars. I don't know what happened to them last night, but, I mean, obviously they've, they've had a good sit-down and talk about how they're going to play this game, and they're playing it very well. The speed is wonderful, rolling three lines, so they're sticking with the North Stars. We know that the North Stars' depth has been one of the things that have really helped them this year in the games that they've played in. But uh, the Mustangs are staying right there with him. Now, certainly the first goal that uh, Davis let in was probably a little bit weak. It sort of crept under him, and I don't think he was expecting it. But uh, the second goal the Mustangs scored was crafted perfectly. A beautiful three-on-two into the zone, feed it to the high guy, bang, over the goalie's glove. It's just a classic hockey play, and they set that up beautifully. And then they kept pushing, three-on-two, three-on-two, three-on-two. So the North Stars were under a lot of pressure towards the end of that period. Mm -hmm. Pressure taken off by the two penalties. But again, if you don't shoot the puck, you're not mm. going to score goals. And uh, we didn't really get a lot of shots. Tried a couple of times in the first uh, power play, but the second power play, there wasn't a shot on net. It seems like the Mustangs, once again, had the North Stars figure out. They had a lot of 2-on-1s um, or 3-on-2s coming back. Correct. Where they would pick up the puck in the neutral zone and quickly on the attack, and the North Stars weren't ready for it. Well, the speed is, again, it's, it's great. I mean, it's... It's a good hockey game to watch because of the speed. Uh, and if you love hockey, you would love it because of that. You wouldn't love the fact that North Stars are down 2-0, if you're a North Star fan anyway. You're not going to like the fact they're down 2-0. But, I mean, the North Stars have so much offense. I mean, two goals isn't a lot, especially in their own building. I mean, we can we can come back. Well, they have done that before. They've come Absolutely. back from 3-0 down so against the Bears earlier in the season. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so a challenge ahead for the North Stars. They... One thing we have to acknowledge is that they're down two players, too. Yes. Two of their betters. Yep. So, Richie Tesaric, uh, uh, bad fall into the boards there. That, uh, it, the looked, it looked terrible. It yeah. really did. It was head first straight into the boards. And, I mean, to a credit, he got up and skated off the ice. He did go straight to the dressing room. So, I'm pretty comfortable and confident we're not going to see him back. And, of course, last night, Dom Gubai um, uh, hit his arm in a check in just bad position when he got hit in the corner. So uh, he won't be playing tonight. Uh, so, yeah, the North Stars will need to dig deep. deep. Um, well, the word is he may weeks. have to get an operation done on that. So no, it could be know. six to eight weeks. So We'll wait uh, and see what happens when yeah. it goes through the medics. All right, so, um, yeah, we've got... Well, it was a Mustangs period. <laughs> yeah, certainly <laughs> was a Mustangs. Davis was keeping the North Stars in there. Correct. Jaden Pye Murphy's also been very solid. Yep. Good positioning. Yep. No, it's been a great game to watch, but I mean, the North Stars are going to have to break the pressure that the Mustangs are putting on them. Now, it might be stretching so that you break away the uh, time and space that the Mustangs are taking away. They might have to stretch, might have to put someone up high, get a few breakaways, see what happens, you know. Uh, but they're going to have to experiment a little bit. Right. Okay, well, um, Lucy's got an interview for us, so we're going to wrap it up for the second period. So after two periods, Mustangs had two goals that period. Now lead 2-0 against the North Stars here in Hunter Rose Canning Stadium. So we'll be back for the third period soon. But off now to Lucy. She's got an interview for you. We'll catch you soon. Hi, Lucy Vaughan here from the Newcastle North Stars. I'm here with Dominic Gabay, who's currently sitting on the bench with a small injury, but he'll be back soon, hopefully. What do you think of the game? Uh, it's a pretty fast-paced game, and I think we're playing well. Just we, we have to get... Uh, our game back because we had a couple of penalties and we just have to start going after them and hopefully get one early in a third period and come back. There's been a couple of unlucky shots. Do you think we're getting really close now? We've had a couple that have just gone wide. Yeah, we, we had pretty good chances. Like it could, it could have been 3-2 for us at the end of second. We just have to find a way to score some goals. 
Thanks for your time, Dom. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.
Welcome back, everyone, for the third period here at Hunter Skating Stadium. We have the Melbourne Mustangs 2 leading the home team, Newcastle North Stars 0, Stephen, after two periods. Well, it's a reflection of the game, I think, in all seriousness. I mean, uh, the North Stars have obviously played the best they can, but the Mustangs just haven't allowed them to play the best that they can. And uh, the two goals they scored were opportunistic, and uh, that's all you want in hockey. Take mm -hmm. the opportunities when they come. Uh, I've been very impressed with the Mustangs. A lot of speed, a lot of depth in their lineup tonight, and that's what sort of obviously troubled the North Stars a little bit. Uh, North Stars being down a couple of players hasn't helped either because it obviously upsets your rhythm and everything. Yeah. But they cannot complain about Dane Davis. The man has had a beauty of a game. Yep. Uh, so I think the bigger difference was that uh, North Stars, uh, they had um, uh, two power plays but didn't score. Mustang scored on power plays. Correct, yeah. I mean, it's the special teams are always going to make the difference. And, I mean, the reality is that the Mustangs, when they were shooting on the net, were scoring goals. Mm. Uh, unfortunately for the North Stars, they weren't getting as many shots on net as they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Lots around the net, a lot over the net. <laughs> uh, but the reality is that's they not going to... only count when they go in. No, they only count when they go in. So they've really got to focus on that because there will be more opportunities in this period and uh, they've got to just take them uh, mm -hmm. because the Mustangs are playing well. So there won't be a lot of opportunities, but there's always opportunity. You've just got to take it. That's right. Well, we've seen the Mustangs have kind of figured out that they've, they've got their strategies right. So they, they've, they've, yep. they've uh, preempted what the North Stars are going to do, how they're going to run their breakouts, you know, how they're going to move the puck around, and they keep on cutting them off. Correct. North Stars have done that a bit too on their counter, but um, it's broken up the North Stars game and allowed the Mustangs to, to stop what you know, the things that were working for the North Stars prior to this. Yeah, they're taking away time and space that the North Stars are used to having. So the speed game has really made a big difference. That's why they're number one in the league because of that. And the Mustangs have done their homework, have taken that away from them and uh, not given them that. So the North Stars are tending to have to do a lot of one-out stuff rather than coming up as a unit. And uh, the Mustangs are absorbing that. They're collapsing, taking away that. Um, so it's, it's difficult for the North Stars. Mm -hmm. But it's the old story, mate. You score one, the momentum builds, the second one comes. So they've got to get the first goal. Well, they have a good coach to help them through that. So uh, they'll have to deal with some adversity. We're down a couple of players yep. now. Uh, but the goalie's in there for them. And if they can get uh, one to get them close or two to get them with them, then it's definitely game on. Uh, is always the case. Coach Kennedy has been here and done that as a player. So certainly his uh, coaching ability is without question. So mm -hmm. he'll know which buttons to push and we should see a different North Star team for this third period. It's 20 minutes too. It's not 15. Yes, so 20 it's 20 minutes. So they've, they've got plenty of time to actually get back into the game and it just takes one shot. Mm. Then in the second shot. It's all it takes. So uh, all you've got to do is put that puck on the net. Well, they're uh, doing the insane play of the game right now from uh, previous games. So, uh, did you have any picks out of that? No. No? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to prejudice anything <laughs> by actually... Because, I mean, I'll get it wrong for sure. <laughs> we did have a special moment. We had, uh, in that period, we have Dave Ferrari setting an All-Stars record for the most penalty minutes for the All-Stars. He had actually already surpassed Robert Stark's as a player, yeah. some of those were the Melbourne Ice when he played with them back in, in the 90s. But uh, special moment for Dave. He's been looking forward to that day of, uh, <laughs> of, of getting one record in the books, and yep. he's done it. Just a, just a regular old two-minute penalty, but it was just enough to get him over the line. Look, Dave Ferrari has been a player that you need on the team in regards to the other guys on the other teams need to keep their head up and keep watching what's going on because uh, Ferrari will let you know that he's on the ice. So. Yes. Uh, he's the kind of player that you need, and certainly the way he plays doesn't hurt the team at all. In fact, it normally lifts the team, so uh, good on him. Yeah. Congratulations, a great bloke, fantastic fella. So, well, uh, he's there to protect his team too, so yeah. he's, he, he's always been willing to sacrifice, sacrifice himself for the team. So if he has to, you know, if there's a tough guy on the other team and he needs to put himself in front of one of the younger guys or smaller guys or imports, you know, Dave's there to do it for you. Mate, he bleeds red and blue. I mean, he loves the North Stars. Uh, uh, he's come through a lot of adversity uh, with injuries and things like that, and he's mm -hmm. still out there, still playing, still taking a regular shift, and so he should be. I mean, he's a great player. As I said, a great person as well, too. He's really great to have in the dressing room and everything. Uh -huh. It's one of those practical joker-type guys that you need to have to keep the uh, levity going when it's necessary. Uh, so uh, he's, he's a great guy. All right. Well, uh, we're about to get underway here for the third and final period. So we've got the Mustangs leading two to nil, and the North Stars crowd are something they haven't seen this year so far. The North Stars, well, they had been down. They were down three nil, weren't they? But yep. uh, that was yeah, a wave. They haven't been outplayed like this. Um, maybe the Bears did for that first period back in that first game, but. Um, 
Yeah, this is a battle definitely worth winning. It's going to be a tough ask for the North Stars. Let's see what they can make of it. So Mustangs win the face-off. And it goes to Davis. He's going to set it around behind his net. Isaacson cannot cut it off. And Newcastle now try a breakout. Bounce it off the boards. Banger shakes off a check. He's got Drolet coming in late. Oh. That was Jaden Ryan, pardon me. Drolet was the, was the third man. And Mustangs, a shot it was off a stick and up into the netting. The stop a play with 19.31 left in the game. So they didn't score first shift that period. Oh, a great <laughs> battle by Jaden Ryan to get to the net. It just, just a little bit in front of him. Didn't quite have control of his stick to be able to knock it away. Uh, Drolet was behind may have been a better option. I mean, it's easy to sit back here and watch that. But uh, it would have been nice to score on that first shift. Well, Drolet would be good for any rebound that you produce. But Absolutely. they could get on net. So he's a guy I think um, I'm looking forward to getting some points up. He's got such skill. Attempted shot on net is off a stick and up in the netting for a stop of play. Lander there, clashing sticks. I mean, I know we're only 39 seconds into this period, but already you can see the North Stars are just jumping out of their boots. I mean, they've really got their legs moving, so they know that they've got to score this first goal uh, to get the momentum coming back into the game their way. Face-off is to the right of Jaden Pern Murphy. Sean Jones gets the puck, and he's going to skate it forward. Pass across, and it's stolen by North Stars. Banked off the board, skating onto it. Is 20, yeah, 24, Lander. Yep. And that's out into neutralize, so they'll have to get on side. Andres Mark will button hook both directions. And again. Oh. And again. <laughs> he can skate. Pass cut off. Doesn't make it to Lander by Jamie Burke. He's going to streak towards the net, looking to get set up for a shot. Shot on net is high and over the head of Davis. And dribbles to the blue line. Across it goes. It's Robertson as the North Stars were changing, so he's got the puck. Coming oh, out of the geez. box there was Abs. Stretches for it. Could have done himself an injury, or if the man wasn't off, he could have got a too many men. Off the stick and in the corner. I think it was Hamish Bow. It was Hamish. Hamish Bow, yep. Abs with the puck in the corner. Bouncing to Robertson. He's got Southwood on him. Powell for checking. Takes... Does not anticipate the move there of Mitch Humphreys. Puck bouncing around goes to Davis, who plays it for Lindsay. More stars breaking out the right side. Mm, Got to get your feet moving. And a uh, bit of a Hail Mary there. Doesn't connect, and another icing call this time on North Stars and back they'll go to the North Stars end with 17.52 left in the, s in the third period. Yeah, the North Stars are a bit hard done by there with that uh, icing call. And Drule certainly looked like he won the, the battle back but also it looked like it was tipped in the middle of the ice as well too. So it's difficult when you're 200 feet away but let's see what they can do. North Stars have the puck. Off the face off in their own end. Hamish Powell can't get rid of that before he's bumped. Drolet this time with the bump. Pressure there on Bright. Banger steals the puck. Gets a couple of sticks in the yeah, wrist. I think we're still, gonna... still okay. going, so he's drawn a penalty and got some scoring attempts. Knocked down and out of the air by Robinson. I think he might be... Pardon me, Bright. There was a couple of guys with sticks going at Banger there. And who's going to take it? Yasov. Looks like where yeah. Asop is going. Down the Asop will sit two minutes, I assume, for slashing. That was a hooking call. That was a hooking call. Yep. There were sticks take, all over Banger's hands. I mean, jeez, <laughs> you know. It's like three, three white jerseys all over his hands. Well, again, they're beginning the opportunity here, the North Stars. Just got to get shooting that puck. Face off. That one's won eventually by Ozen. He'll throw it down ice as they're killing the penalty. There will be no icing. Davis has to play that. As Whoops. He's under pressure there. Mitch Humphreys for checking hard. Carrying into the zone is Bangor. He tries to hand it off to Southwood, but it's gone back into neutral ice, and so North Stars will need to regroup. Schmark, over move, dumps it into the far corner. Off the boards and out. Most of the puck there was Urzen. Yeah, Urzen again is impressed tonight. He's had a great game back there on the defense for the Mustangs. Good commitment by the Mustangs all night. North Stars play. Uh, uh, foot. 
Breakout is broken up. It's off the board. It's kept in the zone by Malloy. He fires at mid-ice. Backhand attempt by Banger. No power on it, though. Malloy around the boards. Kept in at the zone. Smart moves across the blue line, looking for a screen. Going to take the option. Moving into the shot. Oh, just over the net. Trolle, I think it was deflected. It was deflected, yep. yep. Malloy, Banger down low. He's got... Jane Ryan in front, and there's a penalty called, and I assume, on Newcastle. No, no, it's no. cross-checking on the Mustangs. So that was 12, Parker Thomas. Parker Thomas. So Why did they blow it down when Newcastle was carrying the puck? I guess one of the Mustangs must have touched it. touched it straight away, just a bit slow on the whistle, but I mean, uh, you can use your stick in front of the net to box people out. You can't use your stick to try and break their back. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of, uh, a bit of uh, blue paint surgery, Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's been given on a platter, the North Stars now, five on three. They've got 50 seconds of that. Mustangs win the face off and slapped hard around the boards and out of the zone it goes. Picked up by Malloy, he's been neutralised, so he's going to have to set up with his teammates. Into the zone they come. Droll A, that's off a Mustang stick, and once again, they maximum effort. Burke now, and he gets it. I think it's out of the zone. It's hard to tell, it's in the mass of bodies right now, but he's not given up. Neutralize. Down to nearly 20 seconds of 5 on 3. Ooh. And Newcastle still having trouble breaking in with a two man advantage. Banger to the blue line. It's Mark, fakes out the defender a little bit. That's two goes to escape. You can't shoot off those. Nice. Goals! Just let's go and hits the top corner. And the North Stars needed that one, Steve. Mate, I called that before he even went in the net. You can see the angle was Quite perfect. Key, yeah. It was coming straight at us, and you can see the gap there. It was a wonderful shot, perfect positioning. He just moved down to the edge of the of the circle, and it went to him and just let go. But the, yeah. so many of those passes weren't weren't on target. That one on the stick, and it goes. Perfect. Well, Pine Murphy has said it's been going down quite early. Frequently tonight, in that time, Smart just waited, 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 and it threw it over his stick side. So, just a wonderful goal. Makes it 2 1, so North Stars within one now. And uh, hopefully, with some momentum, they can keep this game live for themselves. Banger now driving towards the net. Goes down in the battle. T contesting the park. In the corner, Newcastle putting the pressure on. We've got Pat Naden out there with Banger. They're moving from the net. Screenshot, it's loose. Picked up and kept in. Lindsay with us through the screen. It's gone a little wide. McMahon desperately trying to get the puck out. There's a draw lane. Now's your chance. Takes a shot and it's off the glove of Pine Murphy. He didn't get all of it. He got enough. Working the puck out as draw lane. He gets chopped and he uh, didn't draw a penalty. He could have there. But uh, it's gone out of the zone. Newcastle back in. No look pass. Goes back to Schmuck. Scored the last goal. Quick with a screen goes Banger, jumping in front of Pine Murphy, he has to look around the corner. Lindsay with a shot through the screen, it's loose in front, oh. covered by Pine Murphy, and Mustangs are getting angry. you got right. to give credit to Pine Murphy there. He Headlock here as Bright's trying to pull the head off Naden. And Bright's like, what do you mean? What do you mean oh, headlock? headlock? <laughs> what headlock? It was all, it was all this guy. <laughs> put his head there. Uh, look, I mean, uh, the Mustangs can argue as long as they like. Uh, nothing's going to change the referee's deci uh, decision on that, but I mean, Pine Murphy just was so good on that shot. There was about 3,000 people in front of him, and somehow he was able to see it, and then grab the re rebound in front of him, and uh, take away all the, the angst from the Mustang team. So they've still got this power play there, the North Stars. Face off. Owens versus Manwaring. Manwaring wins it. Uh -oh. And it's chipped out though, so there's a chance for the Mustangs to watch out for Max Perron. He's been to it by Bert Malloy. Well done. The skipper Bert. won't let that happen too easily. Aiden Ryan trying to cut off that pass. And Puckle's blown. I think it's out of play, is it? Yeah, I think it went up the glass into the netting. So we've got 14, still 14 23, still heaps of games, Steve. Oh, absolutely. As I said, mate, it takes one shot, and all of a sudden the lead is halved. Now all it needs is another shot, and uh, all of a sudden we've got a tied ball game. Or a hockey game, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Is that what they call it? <laughs> Face off to happen outside the North Star zone. And the the uh, Mustangs have it. Robertson sends it forward. Mustangs have trouble crossing the blue line. 
And they've lost the puck now, so Newcastle's going to try and move up the right wing. It's, a, it's kind of a mess right now. It's, players do better uh, defensively than offensively. All Stars will dump it in. They're going to chase it. Southwood versus Robertson. Hands it off for Ryan, trying to bring it in front. Robertson will carry it. And Warren cuts him off. Southwood looking for a check. It's in front of the benches. Newcastle loses it. A chance for Mustangs. Can't get a shot away. Good defense. Making up for the mistake. Backhanded in by Vyasov. He runs into the lining. And there's a penalty called. Uh, yes. It's going to be on the North Star. It's going to be a late hit. And I think this play has stopped. So we'll see if we'll see if Steve's got the right call. Skating looks like Drolle, yes, it is Drolle. Three minutes and the signal. That's a late hit. Yes, mm. late hit, two minutes. Yeah, so just not necessary. Yeah, just not necessary. Yeah, I think temperature is starting to build. You know, the tempers. Temperature too. Here we go. go. Oh. Unlucky. Nader was off the races, they could connect, but it was a Mustang stick cutting off the stretch man. Mustangs quickly on the counter. They nearly got caught out, but uh, recovered there with some luck. They're on. Kent's in front. Taken down by Naden. It was a beautifully positioned chance. And again, once again, just... Oh, and lucky. scores! Diving man to cut off that first one. He couldn't get the second, though. And I think it was Jamie Burke wide that home. And again, just standing in that perfect position in the slot area and was able just to put it home up top of uh, Dane Davis's stick. Almost exactly the same goal that Pine Murphy let in uh, just a few moments ago. And the Mustangs, just because of their tenacity, were able to get on top of that again. But North Stars got a little excited having two players down low trying to score a goal there. Correct. And the puck turned around and they were, you know, they were down then by two when they went back. Yeah, they're on the penalty kill, but I mean, you know, I guess they're taking a few risks and things like Trying that. Trying to get one back, yeah. yeah. No, it didn't pay off. No, did not pay off. Well, it's Flack. It's a shift. Hasn't had many. Nice moves, though. It's a chance in front all alone. And doesn't get, put, get the shot away as Drolet's back on ice. the boards and out of the zone so it's chipped back in by McMahon Newcastle down by two now so 3-1 now the lead for the Mustangs Angle with a nice touch pass to Ryan but he's left it behind and Mustangs are on the counter Back loses it off the Mustangs body McMahon will cover it and he'll move it forward into Newcastle's end then Ryan versus Flack that's looking for a change. Hanging out the right wing. Stops. He's across the blue line. Still has a puck. There's another penalty coming up against Schmack. the Mustangs this Shot time. Shot It's a goal though. Sammy Banger gets one back. It's 3-2. Right between the circles. Well, they've obviously found the soft spot on Pine Murphy over his stick glove. So that's twice they put it in now. There's a delayed call that was coming up on the Mustangs then. But the... Uh, they're not going to need it now. Andre Smart pinched in right down low, mm. drew a couple of men, and got the pass away to Sammy Banger. They are going to miss him. Big well, time. Sammy Banger is the man you want to have the puck on the end of his stick. I mean, if you, you've got to get someone to pass him, you get someone with a sweet pass will put it in for you. Correct. So we're back to a one goal game. We've got just under 12 minutes remaining. It's an exciting one here, keeping the crowd in it at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. Well, it'll be interesting to see if they keep continuing to shoot above his. Uh, Stick side on Pine Murphy. Up now, pass goes to Lander off the boards. Pushed down there by Urzen. And uh, stop the play. So, they're going outside the zone. I'm thinking this is like a hand sort of pass to the rule. Yep. Yeah. Hand pass. Listen to the chant. We haven't heard that this year. This is great. Fans are getting into it. 
They are. They're, they're starting to get catch on to uh, the, the chanting and the, the having the organ music. I've been asking for organ music for years. <laughs> off they go. Newcastle that possession off the face off into the zone. Smart will dump it in. First word is Ozen. He's going to watch out as pinching in as North Stars will take a power. He loves the four check. To the point. Smack with a shot and it's stopped and shoveled out by Parker Thomas. Another shot on it. Really a screen there by Erzin, but uh, went to Southwood, but he couldn't get a shot away. Now the chance the other way. Jesse, pardon me, Jordan Owens. There we go. Shot on net. Stopped there by North Star's defense. Owens again. Through his traffic. Takes oh. a shot and it's just wide. Into the corner now. Owens is stepping up. He's looking to put this game away. Oh, Hit nice. Jake. <laughs> you, get it, you can get the puck around him, but you've got to get around the man too. And that's a icing call. That's an icing call. Just unlucky it looks there. Like it's a penalty too. On Hamish Powell. Oh no, he's calling the players back. Yep, yep. Just uh, Hamish. Nice. And us things we're trying to get <laughs> we're changing. <laughs> Hamish was uh, Hamish Powell oh, just looked. Stars, right? Look right instead of left. If he'd looked the other way, he would have actually had a breakaway. But uh, he just, just unfortunately, just looked the wrong way. They're the sort of risks that are going to have to be taken occasionally, so that the North Stars can just get back in the game because time is now obviously on the Mustang side. I love the big shrug of the shoulders when some player accidentally causes the delay of mm -hmm. 15 seconds for a face-off. Broken stick for the Mustang, so one player goes to get one, and Bowley down, and referee down too. And referee down, that's what I meant to say. He fell awkwardly, Ken Atwood, mm. and he looks hurt. So. Still got up to blow the whistle, but he's not comfortable at the moment. I think he tweaked his shoulder when he fell. Is he coming off to have a bit of a talk to the physio? I was just explaining he might not be <laughs> making decisions so quickly for the rest of the game. So... I'm not sure what he's saying, but he might be coming off because he looks like he, it's possible even he's dislocated his shoulder on that fall, but no, it looks like he's going to continue. There's a whistle, and we'll have a puck drop to right at Davis. Newcastle up, picked up by the Mustangs out to the blue line, kept in the zone, stopped by Davis. So it's still a 3-2 lead for the Mustangs. There's 10.33 left, so we're halfway through, nearly halfway through this period. Yeah, a referee for someone is definitely favouring his right shoulder, so he's got a real issue there. He's basically holding it to his body to keep going. Yeah. This next 10 minutes are going to be tough for him. All stars trying with the Hail Mary. Gets it to Bangor. He's got a little bit of room. He's got some help. Shot on it by Lander and a stop by Pine Murphy. He doesn't know where it is, but he has it. I just love this. The North Stars are stretching. They're throwing caution to the wind to try and get uh, another goal to start putting pressure back on the Mustangs. This is wonderful. It'll have the fans on their feet soon. It's, it's working though, incredible. Steve, because Mustangs have been looking for that you know, safe pass off Correct. the boards the North Stars have been using so regularly. And they've been caught out a couple of times with a stretch. Mom will pick it up and carry it around his net with some speed. Gets the pass away, so the North Stars will take the left wing option into Newcastle zone. Struggling to keep a handle on it though. Through a screen, yeah. off a skate and wide off Matt Anderson's stick. I haven't seen him out there yet this period. I might have missed him, so he's getting a shift now. Then Waring chips around, will chase it for himself, but Mann follows him in the corner, gets it to the blue line. It's kept in there by Dave Ferrari. Dave Ferrari in 25. Dave Ferrari spins. Ends, and our Mustangs actually put themselves offside with 9.43 left in the third. Yeah, it's good to see all the players on the bench being used as well too because this is going to be pretty intense this last nine minutes of this game because both teams obviously want to win. And the Mustangs have played so well this game, so the pushback by the North Stars is a credit to them. Face off, it squirts out the side and then North Stars will pick it up. Pass under the stick, into the zone they come. Shot and a save by Pine Murphy, drops it though. Picked up by Lander, gets it in front, loose, jamming at it is Hamish Powell. And stop a play, Pine Murphy has it. Yeah, puck is still a bit loose, but uh, the ref had 
lost sight of it obviously so that's why he called it down but the great pressure there by the North Stars I mean now they're getting desperate now they want to do anything to try and put the puck in that net throwing bodies at it it's good to see I think it's an important win or lose tonight it's an important, important lesson for the North Stars in that they need practice in coming from behind they need yeah. the belief oh. Lander with a shot as he's falling and falling on it as well as Pine Murphy so both guys put it on the line what a great effort there by Thomas Land he just drove from the net to try and get that puck in just did everything he possibly could but also fantastic effort there by Isaacson to make sure that Lander couldn't get his stick on it if I had to make up a, a nickname for him it'd probably be Robocop or yeah. something like that because he's just unstoppable unstoppable face off Rolle wins it it's a two right man Kept in the zone there. Paddy Ward it was. Mustangs, we didn't neutralize. And we line out for Ward. We chip it forward. And Mustangs decide to get organized. Send it back to Max Parent. Long pass. Cut up by the North Stars. Into the attacking zone they come. The inside. Nice pass. Chance in front, but it's gone to a Mustangs skate being parents kept in, kept alive there by Schmark who's pinching. Gets it down to Banger. Schmark staying low, looking for an opportunity. They want to use him for his shooting ability. Robertson battles in the corner. But the pass there, the delay is getting gassed. He's got up and left. Chance for Mustangs driving towards the net. Davis. Oh, well done, Dane Davis. But uh, Francis Drolet had nothing left there. He's struggling to get back to the bench. Loose in front, smothered by Davis. 8.19 left in the period. Well, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Coach Kennedy calls a timeout soon just to give his, uh, his imports just a little bit of a rest because they really have been going flat out and also running the power play as well too. So they've had a lot of minutes this period. So um, they start to show signs of fatigue and they don't need that. Well, he might have to roll the dice and, and put his second and third lines out more often. Uh, than he has been just to rest them up and that's kind of what's happening now we've got the third out but this is where they're missing Richie and Dominic nice things have it down low Allstars are keeping them boxed out but it's in their own end nice things happy to kill time because they have the lead 3-2 stick bouncing and stopped by Davis in at his net just notice there, the Mustang's so good, just being really tight around that little face-off circle and just the three of them working together, not actually cycling, but actually working together to keep the puck down in that zone and then fed it back to the point once the forward had actually been drawn down into the corner so the point actually had plenty of opportunity with the puck. So very clever. It's very, like, really well coached. It's good stuff. By yourself, one by the North Stars. Lindsay gets around the boards. And Mustangs, good body game, getting the puck away from the player. I like the blue line, I think. Too many players left. <laughs> no, that puck wasn't moving away from there. There's Not 19 the legs in there. guys. <laughs> so they stop with play with 7.35 left in the third. 3-2 the lead for the Mustangs. Face off to the right of Davis. Puck has dropped Newcastle with it. Smart has a puck. Ferrari. Get to Smart. Good plan. Up the boards it goes. Newcastle now will break in. We'll dump it and chase it. This is speed goes Hamish Powell. Southwood puts a body in. Erzin. And that's thrown down ice. And bounces around for Powell. Whoops. Stolen away. Chance. Shot is wide there. Red apps. Get the shot away before it was pushed off the puck. Puck goes under the stick. It's going to go all the way to Pine Murphy. He'll stop it. Play it away for Parker Thomas. Ferrari can't find any skates. Into the zone it goes. Going towards the net is Lander. Got Banger helping him out. In comes Jaden Wright. And frozen by Pine Murphy. We've got 6.42 left. Yeah, good play by Pine Murphy because that was starting to develop with Banger and Lander both looking for each other and trying to get shot away on the net. So he just needed to settle them all down with 6 minutes and 42 seconds to go. Time is on the Melbourne Mustang side. 
Face off to the left to Pi Murphy. Won by the Mustangs. Round behind the net he goes. Robertson. Pressed in the boards by Ryan. Burke will get a pass way up the middle. Chance for Jones, but he's cut off by Malloy with a, with a check. Up now loose, neutralised. Newcastle yes. taken with some speed as the zone he comes. Oh, unlucky. Shane Ryan's got the speed, but he just doesn't have the ability to hang on to the puck like Simi Banker does, no, no matter how many people are on him. Malloy with a shot, can't get it away. As he got bumped. Kept in. Then again by Banger. Mustangs are looking a little tired too. Robertson gets it to McDowell. Off the boards and out. Battle of attrition now, I think. That Mustangs oh, have that, that lead. Jeez, I tell you. Parent got away with that. That couldn't have been uh, any closer in appearance than I would have ever seen before. But anyway. North Stars need to win it on their ability, not by pulling penalties. So they just start driving towards the net, putting pucks on the net and putting Pine Murphy under pressure. They said that shot over his uh, right shoulder is the place to be, they want to be putting the puck. Back to North Stars end. So it came a nice and call. And glove by Davis will stop play. And North Stars get their change. Paddy Ward comes on, and another player is changing. Is that too many? Yeah, Lindsay was just uh, talking to the referee about the situation. Nice things with the puck. Here it goes. The fly of it, uh, if I mean the neutral zone. Okay, North Stars now. Long pass off the boards. Naden, back hands, but it's just Mustangs there to pick it up. Isaacson into the zone. Good Mullins. The stick and bouncing around in front of the North Stars net. Shot on net is wide. Mullins puts it in the corner. No, that was bright by me, 19. Battle for the, court, for the puck in the North Stars end continues. Under the stick that time. Newcastle trying to break it out. Well, he's got two to contend with. He shakes him off. It's a pass away, but it's gone straight to Bright. Loose now. And Mustangs will get it. The ass off. No pressure. Puck stolen now, but he did the job in securing the puck just while the Mustangs were organized. Pine Murphy needs to play that. He does, and picked up by Puck Thomas. Parker Thomas, with some speed into North Side Zone, takes a quick shot. Fast release on that. Uh, Davis caught under it though. Into Mustang Zone. Powell there loses the handle, but uh, he did drive into the Mustang's end. Down to four minutes. So one goal lead for the Mustangs. I think seem to be getting fatigued, Steve. Oh, absolutely. The North Stars, of course, are unsettled because they've got different line combinations out there. So everyone's trying to do it themselves rather than playing with each other. Yeah, this play is just not flowing and getting stick to stick like it was earlier in the game. Come the battle of attrition. Puck is loose. And we had lots of North Stars pinching down, a bit desperate there. Okay, the puck. Watch out. Nice Troll play. A. Getting tired, but he's got the ability. Schmark, he's still got heaps in the tank. Battles with Robertson down low, playing a little bit of forward there, Andre Schmark. That was a great defensive play by Troy Robertson. I mean, you got the, probably arguably the best player on the North Star team, and he just stood his ground and did a great job. Up is loose. Or no one's trying to get a pass away. He bumped hard and knocked down. Balance. And a stop of play as Davis freezes it. We've got just under three minutes to go. It's a 3-2 lead for the Mustangs. Well, there's a couple of things I think are going to happen fairly quickly, Peter. Uh, the North Stars are going to be calling a timeout just to settle the play and also settle their players. And also they're going to make a decision about when to pull Dane Davis so they can get an extra attacker out there. But it's important that they have the legs that they can take advantage of having six skaters on the ice. So do you think they'll wait until 
We've had a shift here and then Jeez. try and call a timeout. So double rest for those guys. Certainly it would be wise to have the face off in this end to call it. Yes. That's also true. Aiden. It's a puck to Landers. We're checking now. Yeah, unfortunately, North Stars. Well, oh, actually, this is fantastic. It's going to be a Mustang penalty. Yeah, it was on Lander. Holding Next the stick. Parent. He doesn't like it. Well, holding the stick is being called against Parent. I thought uh, Lander was actually going to go for a high stick because uh, he sort of clocked him. But uh, that obviously happened after the referee had moved his eyes away from the play. Semi Banger does a quiet drive by and gets on the Parker Thomas' skin. It looks like timeout may have been called actually now by the North Stars. Well, it's good timing, as we were talking about. This is an opportunity to rest the players. They've had a bit of a stop of players after that penalty. And uh, it's an opportunity, double opportunity for North Stars because they'll have an extra man advantage and a rest. Oh, there's 241 left, so most of that would be on the power play. Well, this is certainly the first time at home that the North Stars have been under immense pressure like this, and it'll be interesting to see how Coach Kennedy wants to handle this as to whether he wants to run with six skaters right now and see if he can get something happening. That's really throwing the dice. That's that really throwing the dice. Or he plays these two minutes with his power play with the boys that have all just had a rest and try and get a goal so that we go... Three all, and then make the next two minutes and 41 seconds very exciting, Peter. Bit of a face-off to the right of Pine Murphy, taking it as Jolay. He needed that rest, and he's be he's going to be up against Isaacson, another import player. Face-off won by the Mustangs, and they do looks like they're going to get out. Isaacson will carry it. And he's right, right, play, taking plenty of time off the clock here. And he continues to waste North Star's power play time. So doing a great job. 20 seconds plus. And a stop of play in the North Star's end. Well, it was 2 minutes 42 when we started. 2 minutes 16 now. So that's a good 26 seconds that have been uh, taken off the North Star's power play. So North Star's are going to definitely want to win this. Actually, the... the Face off down here, even though it came back towards the Mustangs, they actually had possession, but McMahon fought so hard to get it and throw it down the ice. Congratulations to him. Face off outside the zone. Uh, North Stars setting it up. Got a minute and a half to do it. It's Mark looking left and right. Gonna drop it back. And Newcastle coming in for Drolly to skate on to. Gonna chip it forward and then try and carry it through. Land it down to help. Who's coming in between the circles? Nobody yet. That's out of the zone. So Andre Smuck, the first. Changes pace very, very nicely. It's deceptive. It's change of speeds. Long pass under the stick. Trolle. See up. He's got Lander to work with. Lander not on the ice at the moment. Playing the other line. Oh, so close. Jolay couldn't finish it, but he had Pine moving side to Pine Murphy moving side to side. Malloy us behind, but first to it is Parker Thomas. He'll get it out of the zone and down ice it goes for for Dane Davis. We're down to 30 seconds now of power play. Just got a minute left to go in the period. It won't be too long before they think about drawing Davis out of the net. Not yet though. Mark. Anger. In the final minute of the game, one goal lead for the Mustangs. North Stars still got a few seconds of power play. Yeah, they've got to stop standing still, the North Stars. They've got to get their feet moving. Just white, four white jerseys across the blue line. The North Stars can't get through it. And they come. The power play has expired. And Davis now out of his net. Close. Here he goes. Here he goes. So the extra attacker coming in. North Stars must have possession here or the risk he scored on. Jolle goes back to get it. Mark is backing him up. Newcastle in now with numbers on net. Oh. Turned aside by Jaden Pine Murphy. In the corner. Mustangs get in the corner. This should be it. 
North South going to get it in front now to score. And stop of play with just under eight seconds remaining. Boy, how important is this face-off? This is going to be a beauty. Obviously, the North Stars need their best face-off man. Draw it back. Try and get someone just outside that face-off circle to blast the puck. It looks like Julie has put uh, Captain Burt Malloy there. Unfortunately, he didn't North win the face-off. And, and throw it down ice, and that'll be the game. It's a couple of seconds remaining. There will be no time to score. Well done, Melbourne Mustangs. They brought it to Newcastle, and they're going to come away with three points. So, Vanity us off with those two goals. Made a big difference. Oh, absolutely. North I mean, Stars losing one to injury definitely made the job hard. It did. I mean, they had so much shuffling to do of their lines. No excuses, because the Mustangs played very, very well. They were just so fast, so quick. So, uh, like, uh, again, I don't know what happened last night, but tonight, if they play like that for the rest of the season, they're going to have a fantastic season. I mean, they're in third place now, but they're going to have a fantastic season. Well, but we saw that happening, and um, we saw them improving. They've added uh, Jordan Owens now. Yes. That's going to be an extra bonus for them. And, yeah, they get to um, if they reflex, uh, replace uh, Max Apparent with another import. He gets to be back on his bench. They could be strictly still. So. Oh, mate, they'd look a good team. Mm. And what I like about them is that they're strong, like, all over the ice. I mean, there's no real super import or anything like that. I mean, Owen obviously is going to be wonderful once he gets his feet and uh, starts working well with his players. But we saw tonight with the North Stars when they had to mix their players up, their lines up, that it does take a little while to get the chemistry to build up. You can't expect it to happen in a 20-minute period. So... Um, the North Stars tried. They did really, really well to get two goals back in that, so to really make it a game. They're just unfortunately, the Mustangs tonight, too quick, too good, too strong. Yep, well, they just definitely deserve their three points. So for the first time, Coach Kennedy loses a game. <laughs> <laughs> Not and a bad record, though. Oh, look, Peter, Seven it's the first time we've been commentating that we've lost a game as well, too. Oh, so we this season, last year. Yeah, but hey, this season, last I'm year. talking about this <laughs> season. We were a good luck charm there for a little while. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, great effort by the Mustangs. A very strong game from them. Uh, Jaden Pine Murphy sold and back. Also thought that the defense for the Mustangs was really good. The way they covered the middle of the ice. Oh, absolutely. Uh, always a guy in there in the slot to pick up any scraps, which happened quite a bit. Um, you know, if Jaden Pine Murphy had something rebounded, there was always someone there to help out. Correct. So Erzin had a there. great game. I mean, uh, Troy Robertson had a wonderful game for, for the Mustangs. I mean, a couple of the plays he made towards the end there to take bodies and win battles was fantastic. And I mean, he was against Sammy Banger uh, in both those instances. So that's a pretty good player to win a battle sure against. Sure is, yeah. Mm. So uh, last, uh, I'm not sure what happened with the other game in Sydney, but last I saw Bears had a 1-0 lead against Ice. So it'll be interesting what happens there. Uh, that was the only two, where they turned the only two games tonight. So next weekend, the North Stars are off to Melbourne. They'll get to play the Mustangs again. Next game is against the Mustangs. Hopefully, um, Richie Tesserick's back and healthy after that uh, bad fall tonight. And uh, we'll see how Dom Goodbye goes in as far as uh, his prognosis after the uh, injury yesterday. So uh, yep. Andre Smark's going down there, though. So you'll get to see him down there. And he puts on a great show, a great player. And Melbourne, you will love to watch this guy. When he's in full flight, he's just fantastic to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, it could be interesting. I mean, it's unfortunate for some of the North Star players who are out, but it may give the opportunity again for young Connor Schultz to come back into the team. Yes, I think he'll be missing one of your midgets in the coming weeks. So is, uh we get down a couple of players. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we'll I mean, get the call up again, but that's great for him. It's fantastic for him uh, to get the, this opportunity to play. I mean, he's played for Australia on the under-18s for a couple of years now, so uh, he's used to big pressure games, and uh, he's really done well for himself in the games that he has played so far this year. So I would be saying he'll probably get the call up for sure. Uh, you, you've had him back only for a game or so. Since well, I haven't had him game yet. I just had a practice, had that's all. Oh, okay, because yeah. I was going to say, did, did you notice any difference? Oh, yeah. Yep, I mean, uh, his speed is phenomenal, his uh, passing is hard, crisp in front of players, so uh, playing at that level obviously lifts you, and that, that's what's happened uh, playing with AIHL guys, so uh, it's going to make a huge difference to the Newcastle North Star under-18 team when right. we get the opportunity to have him. <laughs> I think he might have lost that for a little while, but uh, New York North Stars will need him with uh, if we've got a couple of players out, so yep. uh, well done to him. So, yeah, well done Mustangs, great game by them tonight, they carried the play for a fair bit of the game. Uh, I would probably say 60% was in Mustangs' possession, maybe a bit more. Absolutely. Um, they definitely improved, like Uncle Steve said, on getting shots on net, mm. not at the net, later in the game. 
Well, it's the only way you're ever going to score a goal. Isn't and, it? Uh, you know, like a credit to the North Stars finding Pine, Pine Murphy's uh, soft spot there by putting it above his stick side into the top corner of the net. There's two beautiful goals there, and we could see them perfectly because it came straight to us in the commentary position here. So we saw the hole, we saw the shot, and uh, it, was, it was great. But the trouble is, I guess, that the Mustangs tonight were just too good. They really played a great game. A lot North Star game. Speed, control, and they beat us. Yep, excellent entertainment here tonight. So, yeah, lots for the local crowd, but uh, a great exhibition of hockey. So, uh, yeah, I invited a few friends tonight, and hopefully they enjoy what they saw, even though they didn't get a win. <laughs> well, there was people banging the glass. There was they people were. chanting. I mean, the North Star fans were into it. Cause well, it gave attention that we haven't had. So yes, absolutely. Issue that, um, that would really elevate the place. So it was as loud as we've heard this crowd, you know, all, as all this season. Yep. Absolutely. So that was great to see. Because, I mean, we saw it a lot uh, last year when they're trying to rev the team up because the team wasn't going so well. Uh, but uh, this year, I mean, the team's been going fantastically well. So just sit back, enjoy the entertainment. This is yeah, wonderful. Yeah, we got the Jumbotron going along with the music, the yep. all the music, and then getting the crowd into it has been really good. So yep. hopefully they can do some more of that. So um, I'm not sure what our next home game is. It's a couple of weeks away. Uh, but next weekend, it's said North Stars. Uh, uh, in Melbourne, 9th of June we're back here uh, for our next one, so that's a couple of weekends away. Yep. So first and second next weekend, so I think, uh, I have an idea, it was a dogs, it was a Sydney team. Next well, the good thing is that it gives the North Stars the opportunity now to just reset and to work on a couple of little things. Uh, obviously they're going to have to work on their line chemistry well, because... Be in introducing a new player at that stage. Yeah, too. well, it should be correct. And uh, uh, to get that chemistry right now before they come back at home will definitely help them a lot. Um, I think the defense has sorted that out because it's, it's pretty stable now with the five guys that they're rotating through. But uh, really it's the forwards now because, hey, you've got to score goals to win games. So Yeah, yeah well, when we come back here we'll have a new defenseman. So um, uh, I asked a press Gary tonight, do you have a replacement yet? He's still same Gary answer. We're talking to a few guys. <laughs> Being coy, yep. Yeah. Well, you're, like, you're never really know until they step off the plane That's on true. Australian soil, do you? You know, So uh, uh, I'm sure he's he'll done a fantastic job because the, the boys playing with the team this year are wonderful people. Um, certainly they enjoy their surfing, but also they're great on the ice. They're brilliant on the ice. So it's, it's, We've yeah. had a really good chemistry and hoping they can keep that up. So. Yep. So uh, with the guys that came from France and worked really well to get us started in the season, but the problem is a lot of those guys will get call-ups and have to be back yep. maybe in France even in August. So yep. you've got the risk of them being called up and out of the team for the finals, which is tough about the European League. So um, we'll see what happens. Sometimes you get players who are playing in North America instead or maybe they're playing a league that starts a bit later. So yep. uh, that's what Gary would be looking for is someone to see us right through to the finals mm. and someone who can keep up um, with this team and give us something like we've had with Andre Smart. Well, he's very lucky that Dane Davis is playing huge. Dane has been sensational. Well, for tonight, it's the Mustangs night. They've won 3-2 against the North Stars here. The first loss of the season for the North Stars. Well done, Mustangs. We'll catch the next hit real week in Melbourne when they play the Mustangs again. But from Steve and I, it's good night, and we'll catch you on the 9th of June against the Ice Dogs. Until then, good night.
Welcome back to North Stars Live. I'm Lucy Bourne. And I'm Tori Diver. So we just finished up against the Melbourne Mustangs. Unfortunately, it was a 3-2 loss for the North Stars, but it was a pretty tough game. It was, I thought it was reasonably close for nearly the whole time. Yeah, definitely. I think it's the first time I've seen um, the North Stars scoreless for two periods for, for quite a long time. So yeah, um, yeah it was a bit of a catch up. Yeah, I think it's just like you've come out, they've come out of a lot of wins. It's a different team that they haven't played before. They've got some pretty flash hot imports. Yeah, you and it of, didn't you've got help. To step up your game, but I think they're a bit worried about over committing. Yeah, yeah, and you know we had a uh, an unfortunate injury um, to uh, Richie. Yeah. Um, so you know we had to do some scrambling um, yeah. again tonight. So yeah, that probably sure. impacted. If you had to pick one standout player from the North Stars, who'd it be? Oh, <laughs> I'm from. <probably laughs> Everyone's going to think that Sammy Banger is my favourite, but he played outstanding tonight. Yeah. Um, but I also think, um, yeah, Paddy Naden, uh, he, he was did well. Yeah. All right, we're going to have a quick chat to Damien Holland from the Mustangs. He's going to come up and chat to us. Thanks, Tori. Yes, thank you. Hi, Damien. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. It was, uh, it was a good effort, good team effort from uh, from the club, and a good way to finish off the weekend. Yeah, I thought the I thought the Mustangs were exceptional. Oh, they thank was, you. They were really strong defensively and offensively. Was really well balanced. Who do you think were some standout players for you? Well, I think um, I mean obviously our, our imports are doing very well, but we've yeah. got a lot of depth on our team this year, which is fantastic. So we can get uh, production from any one of the three lines, and we've got a really solid set of D. Uh, Badham had a fantastic game today, scored two goals. Um, Jordan Owen, our new import um, from the UK, uh, you know, he had a fantastic game as, as well. Yeah. Uh, but it was an all-around good team effort, I think. How's he settling in, Jordan? Good. He's only been here since uh, since Thursday, so um, he came over with his family, his, uh, his wife and his young daughter. Oh, that's lovely. And literally, he was on a plane, you know, a day and a half later, yeah. um, off to Sydney to play play the Sydney Bears. So yeah. uh, I think he's not quite over the, the jet lag, but um, he looked pretty good out there tonight. Yeah, definitely. It's a big change as well, going from different leagues, you know, different kinds of wrapping, different intensity as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I notice a lot of imports, it takes them a little while to settle in to adjust to the right speed and the right contact. It does actually, and um, and it, it is a completely different speed um, yeah. here in Australia. Um, it tends to be um, uh, somewhat variable at times. Yeah. And I think the imports uh, take a bit of time to adjust, but uh, Jordan hasn't really had that uh, that problem yet. Yeah. I don't think he's had time to, to yeah. sort of think about it yet. Yeah. He's so. just trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's keep right. Keep moving. <laughs> try to score a goal. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did you go with the double header road trip? Being between Sydney and coming to Newcastle, is it is it hard on the team? Yeah, there's a bit of bit of travel, and a, and um, you know I think uh, so. We were in um, in Sydney last night, and yeah. then we drove straight up to Newcastle, and then uh, spent the night here. But we got into Newcastle relatively late. Um, oh, we're we're used to it now. I mean, yeah. we we tend to do the same trip um, every time we come up, rather yeah. than, rather than spending uh, two nights down in Sydney and playing them back to back. Uh, so no, we, we handled it well. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the win last night. Um, even though I think we, we we controlled a lot of the play. Yeah. Uh, but the guys came back firing tonight, and um, yeah, like I said, really nice to get the win. Yeah, it was really impressive. Yeah. It's it's difficult when because uh, you guys were getting an import goalie before, weren't you? And you were yeah. that was one of the chosen players. Yeah. And then to lose him, do you think it's thrown everyone out a little bit, or was it no? Was it okay? I, you know, I think uh, we really adjusted well, and and the great thing. Um, it was disappointing um, that we, uh, we we weren't able to secure the import goalie. Uh, there was a few reasons behind that, but yeah. at the same time, uh, Jaden Pine Murphy has come in and yeah. he's played phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so he's really he's taken ownership of that that first string spot, um, and I couldn't be prouder of him. He's done very well. He yeah. got a double shutout in Perth, yeah. which is unheard of. And um, no, I think he's uh, he's really got he's he's running high on confidence right yeah. now. Yeah, and it's tough as competing against import goalies when you're a local and you're kind of like oh like am I gonna yeah. am I gonna have this is it gonna like who am I up against I think is a big thing because you notice a lot of um, local goalies they play against who they're like who they're surrounded with and they they're fine with those shots yeah. and then you see the first couple of games of the season and you're like oh man yeah. like 
they look like they're struggling a bit because they haven't had those kind of shots for so long. Yeah, and look, as a as a goaltender myself, um, you know, I I really encourage uh, young Australian goalies um, to have you know the AIHL as a as an aspiration, and I think we need more local goalies um, that can compete with the with the imports. I mean, right now there, there does seem to be a bit of a plethora of import goalies coming in, and they can be the difference. You know, they can win games. But, you know, if you've got a good, strong local goalie, you know, Jaden's a Kiwi, but he's considered a local. Yeah. Um, it does free up an extra import spot, which can make you more powerful up front, right? Yeah, for sure. I think it's hard because you, like, I coached junior hockey for a while, and you find there's a big, like, there's a barrier between coaching goalies as well. You, there's that barrier of, I don't, I don't just want to shoot, I just don't want to shoot at the yeah. all session, but... How do I help them? Which I think is a big barrier for the AIHL as well because there's not loads of goalie coaches yeah. that are really there to push uh, them and make them step up. Yeah, no, it's a really good point. And um, and y- if you look at somewhere like um, like Finland, yep. you know, Finland have, um, you know, the top goalies in the world and it's because they've got, um, you know, uh, an infrastructure where every team in Finland pretty much has a goalie coach. Yeah. And they understand the specialization, they understand the technicalities of being a goalie. Um, you know, I'd love to say that we can do that now. I know we've got a new head of goaltending um, with Sarah. Um, yeah. I think she's going to do a fantastic job. Yeah, she's a great coach. And uh, we've got, you know, opportunities for, um, you know, Canadian goalies coming over and helping us to coach. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a goaltending clinic coming into Sydney and Melbourne. Uzis, Michael Uzis is coming in. Yeah. And it only just adds to the whole foundation. So. Yeah, definitely, because there's just you notice there's just that little bit of a gap and even with mentorship it's difficult because so, so many goalies play so differently yeah you've got your own style especially when like when our local like probably strongest goalie is Dane Davis and yeah. he has a very specific style yeah. which isn't the same as a lot of other junior players yeah. so then they're like oh I don't want to play like that yeah. I play like myself yeah. <laughs> I mean his biggest strength is he's, he's a big guy yeah, right? and he can fill the net and he's yeah. got perfect angles yeah um, uh, but very different than Jaden. Jaden, uh, he's a bit more. Um, he, he needs to rely on on his skating ability and his agility. Yeah, um, he does that great though. Yeah, he's so done fast. a very good job. Yep. All right, thanks yeah. for your time, Damien. It's been Thank great you. talking to you. All right, we'll see you next time. See you then. Cheers. All righty, we're here with JFK. Oh, let me get this on straight. Good. Yeah, you're good. Alrighty, how do you feel about the game? Oh, look, I think we ran out of ran out of time. Yeah. Um, we had a rush going in on the third, but uh, obviously they played a, a very very well game game, and uh, yeah, we came up on the short side of it. Yeah, it was so close in the last ten minutes. There was a good couple of shots that were only like a stick away from getting in, which is yeah. tough, and you could tell the boys were really pushing for it, and you saw those big bursts of enthusiasm, but yeah. then also. It dropped away at times. Do you yep. think that – did you do something in the first period to really kind of get that enthusiasm, enthusiasm into Oh, them, look, we had to play with more of a sense of urgency. Yeah. Uh, I think we came out flat. You would have saw that. And they came out flying. We're not going to surprise any team that comes against us. So, uh, uh, they, you know, full credit to, uh, you know, Damien and his squad and the Mustangs. They came out on fire, and they, they stayed on fire throughout yeah. the game. Uh, we picked it up towards the, the latter half of the first period and then uh, kind of turned it up from there. But – yeah, you know, it, it, it shows that any night anyone can win. Yeah. doesn't matter what your record is, and it, it's going to be competitive, especially for, you know, the top six teams. Anyone can win at any time. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good learning experience for the team. Yeah. Uh, puts, a, puts a bad taste in your mouth, but luckily for us, we have a short memory, and we get to go on the road and uh, head down to Melbourne next weekend. Yeah, and you, the team will know what they're up against as well. Yeah. It's that bit of... You know how the imports play now because they're quite new imports that we haven't really seen yep. play before a couple of the Mustangs players and they'll be ready to really step up to that. Who do you think stood out today for the North Stars? Uh, who stood out for the North Stars? Um, obviously, you know, Drew Lay and, and uh, uh, Sammy Banga, they always do a great job. But overall for this weekend, I would say the Hamish Balls, the Patty Naden, they, they did very well. Um, even Matt Lindsay was there and, you know, Burt Malloy. So 
Yeah. Uh, like once again, uh, it's a, it's a full team. Yeah. It, it's always it always has been, and you know we need guys to, to step up in these situ situations. We lost one of our top goal scorers in Dominic, you know, from his injury. Yeah. So that leaves plenty of space for someone to take that role. Yeah, we've seen like your Pats and Liam really step up. Yeah. I, I, we saw it last year as well, and they were just so powerful together. And was that a conscious decision you made to keep them together? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, they kind of have uh, like a chip on their shoulder. They have something to prove yeah. you know not only for this team but within this league to yeah. show that they belong they're the you know the young bloods in the league and that they can skate with any import liner that, yeah. that's out there so i they have that camaraderie that cohesion in the locker room and, and you see it out there on the ice that they battle for each other they're chippy you know they're not afraid to get in the dirty areas and yeah. uh you know it's what we need to be a successful team yeah they did a really great job thanks for your time john it's been great talking to you no. and hopefully we'll come away with the wins next week thank you lucy thanks we're coming back with Tori Diver now. We're just going to have a chat about the game. Hey, Tori. Hello. Welcome back. back. So what, did you hear anything that JFK said or you no. were on the headphones? He was talking about um, how Pat and Liam and Hamish and a couple of those local guys really stepped up today. How do you feel? Yeah, definitely. As I said, Pat, I think, was quite good. Yeah. Um, he even got an assist in one of the goals tonight. So, yeah. Um, you see Liam, he's, he's quite a workhorse these days. Um, you see him more and more, um, you know, doing the, the bigger hits and, yeah. and the like. Yeah, he has definitely picked up his kind of physical hockey, which is a – it's good and bad. Mm. It can have its advantages and disadvantages, but I think overall – you need to assert some dominance on the ice. Yeah. And you need to you know, say we're here and kind of get, not instill fear, <laughs> but you don't want to seem like a pushover at the same time. Mm. You want to be tough out there. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, he's still quite a young guy. Yeah. Um, he's only... 20, I think. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, playing overseas and playing in the, you know, um, I think it was under-20s uh, yep. national teams. Yeah. Obviously, you know, that pays off and yeah. shows on the ice when he uh, plays here. Yeah, and we saw last year that big, that kind of, not realisation, but the ability to push it further mm. and to really pick that game up. Definitely. Yeah. I think we're finishing up here now. Yes, yeah. yes. We've had all our interviews for tonight. We spoke to Damien, head coach today for the Melbourne Mustangs. And JFK from the Newcastle North Stars. The score was 3-2. I'm Lucy Bourne. I'm Tori Diver. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.